The Dr. Pepper Big 12 Football Game of the Week on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. And by the Fritos Chili Cheese Wrap, only at Sonic, America's Drive-In. Welcome back to Oklahoma State University. Crowd waiting to the end to come rushing in here today, and you can't blame them on a cool, wet, and windy day in Stillwater. The Huskers and the Cowboys. The series dominated by Nebraska. Oklahoma State won the first two and hadn't seen daylight since. Nebraska leading the all-time series. The first meeting in Stillwater since 1995. The last time it was a home game was 98, and they moved it to Kansas City at Arrowhead, and Oklahoma State almost pulled off the upset on that particular day. Nebraska will be kicking off here to the Oklahoma State Cowboys and Chris Massey, one of the top return men in the country, as an Oklahoman, Brown, tees it up for Nebraska. Josh is a senior from Foyle, Nebraska. Foyle, Oklahoma, I should say. Got a lot of hometown fans here today. And the kickoff with the wind. Massey will down it right there. And Oklahoma State will start first and 10 on its own 20-yard line. And that means sophomore quarterback Josh Fields from here in Stillwater needs protection today, capable of throwing it big, 291 yards against UCLA. On the line, the tackles, the seniors are the key, and that's Eaton and Russell. And the backs and receivers, Woods, not one of just the best in the league, but in the nation. And Tatum Bell gets a start. He's averaging six yards a carry the last two ball games. Those were losses. K-State on the road and Texas on the road as OSU continues its gauntlet-like start to the Big 12. Fields on first and 10, and it is complete. At the 30-yard line, it'll be a first down. Williams made the tackle on the play. Denard, the receiver, defensively for Nebraska. Adams is certainly going to be called on to come up big with Chris Kelsey out with an injury today. Rude, the middle linebacker, is the leading tackler for Nebraska. And in the secondary, you know about Gross, but on the other side, Fabian Washington, a true freshman, getting his first start today. He's got three interceptions. Cowboys on the pass to Denard, sets up the run, and up the middle, and a good pop for about six yards as Josh Bullock makes the tackle for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Bill, I offense here early on for Oklahoma State. Mike Gunn to the offense coordinator says, hey, we're going to throw the ball down the field. They did that on the first play, getting out to their fullback in the flat, the play action passing game, and the power running game inside. To the left side, the Cowboys go, and Nebraska's defense strings that out very well. Well, the Cowboys, if they're going to get the upset today, let's take a look at the game plan, Gary. Well, Bill, there's a few key things that I think they need to do in this football game to be successful. Obviously, we talked about their big play passing game. They need to throw the ball down the field. Come out, shoot, and throw it deep. They're going to do that to Rashawn Woods. They've got to lasso some pigskin. That means they've got to win that turnover game. And I think they've got to ride them for the full eight seconds, Bill. They've got to play to the end of this football game. Don't let Nebraska wear them out. Lewis getting two yards on that last call, and it is third and eight now. And actually, a loss in the play, bigger part. Makes it third and eight at the 34-yard line for Josh Fields and Oklahoma State. We'll play action. Fields, pretty good protection, then got crunched. And the ball is behind the intended receiver. Looking for Wolgamuth. But Nebraska closed in quickly on field. And Wolgamuth does a little comeback here. He's going to be in the slot and work down the field and come back to the quarterback. You see Fields on the play fake, and Wolgamuth's going to come back, but the ball's going to be outside. He throws it outside. It's just a bad ball. Actually, the quarterback, Fields, takes a pretty good shot on that play, Bill. Nebraska now will receive the football on the punt. That means Dewan Gross is deep. And flag is thrown. Before the snap occurred, false start on the offense. Five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. Well, Gary, certainly get worried about the field conditions here and field position which can become mightily important. No doubt about it. And one of the things Les Miles, we talked to him about yesterday, his key, how he'd like to start this game, hey, get his offense out there, get him producing, and also win one of these, uh, these uh, punting situations, punting to Dewan Gross, who's back returning now for Nebraska. Gross, the best in the nation, 22 yards per return. As Cole Farden, averaging 41 yards per punt, boots this one away. Cowboys are there to smother him. 
at the 36 yard line a 37 yard punt. No return that time as Lord will come out here for the University of Nebraska and Lord you see the 683 yards in the passing he's run for 689 and the offensive line Garrison the center is the best of the bunch. Wilson is their leading receiver if they go to the throwing game. Wilson Thomas, Diedrich, last year's Big 12 rushing champ. The pitch and the reverse. At the 45, at the 50, and down to the 40 and into the 35 yard line. LaFleur, the big gainer before Craig and Williams make the tackle. Good job here offensively. Spread the field, put your receivers out wide, get the defense out there, and you're going to see the return reverse here. Watch the block here by Incognito, number 51 on the outside right there. Good job blocking. Allows the return, I'm assuming the reverse to work for the, for the, for the Cornhuskers. And a pickup of 28 for LaFleur on the play. First and 10. Lord hands it off right up the middle this time and to the 29 and a half, maybe 28 yard line. Antonio Smith makes the tackle. Let's take a look at that Cowboy defense. Up front, Kevin Williams making his 37th start of his career. He has to have a big day. They've got good speed there. Linebackers, you got the freshman Dern and the co-captain senior Robinson. And in the secondary, Chris Massey with 38 tackles. He also is dangerous in the kick return game. Second and eight from the 33. And this time they fake the reverse. And to the 30, pickup of three. Duran makes the tackle that time on Darren Diedrich. Diedrich averaging four and a half yards per carry. Let's look at the Husker game plan. Well, you see him come out running the football. That's what they do best, Bill. There's no doubt about that. Run, Jamal, run. The quarterback has to play well and make good decisions. And also, I think the defense has to play well. They haven't done so on the road. They have to play better here on the road. And I think maybe make a dozen. How about a Gross? Well, that's the punt return game. Juwan Gross, they wrapped him up on that last punt return. And now big defensive stand needed for Oklahoma State on a third and five the ball on the 30. Lord Jamal cornered and brought down a loss on the play. Lord and that will affect the field goal situation. Kevin Williams came rolling through to make the tackle. Williams his fourth tackle for loss this year. Bill, it would I've have been a 47 that. yard field goal, Gary. Now it's a different deal. No doubt about it. Come down the line of scrimmage, the down the line option to watch Kevin Williams just push his way through there and go right through all two defenders and make the play on Lord. He has nowhere to go. Kevin Williams is playing excellent for that Cowboy defense up front. Kyle Larson comes on for the punt. He stands right at midfield. Cowboys with no one deep. And Larson puts it out of the end zone. So didn't get the pooch kick that he wanted. And the Cowboys will pick it up on the 20 when we come back with Big 12 football. No score early going in Stillwater. No score, each team of possession here in the first quarter. Bill Langary Reason, Zach Klein with you. What about the weather conditions? What would OSU coach Les Miles like to see today? Uh, we'd enjoy uh, a rainy day, uh, but not necessarily a windy day. We intend to throw the football, uh, and if, if it's uh, wet and, uh, and windy, that'll, that'll curtail our plans. Well, you got one for two, Les, and they hand it off on first down. Tatum Bell. 30, 40, and Bell across midfield into Husker territory. Pat Ricketts, the junior from Omaha, Nebraska, made the tackle. Well, go ahead and spread that offense out. Make the defense go out and cover your wide receivers. That opens it up inside for your offensive line to create a hole for Tatum Bell. Watch here. He's going to see a big gap in front of him, and he just hits the hole. You see the lane he has to run through. Good job that time of using his speed and getting to the outside. Tatum Bell Bill is one of three backs that Oklahoma State has used on the year. Doing a good job getting outside there. Seymour Shaw is not going to be able to play today because he injured his leg a week ago. Yeah, broken bone and uh, not available. Bell keeps it here on the first down call. He had 32 yards on that last pickup. And offensive coordinator Mike Gundy said 
by committee, we think we can get it done. Well, you just lost one key member of the committee, but we've seen Bell with a 45-yard touchdown run in Austin and Texas a couple of weeks ago. Had some success last week against Kansas State, but they're going to change them up. Well, what they like to get from that tailback position is about 150 to 170 yards worth of production, and he doesn't care where it comes from, which one of the guys step up to get it for him. We'll see some of the freshman Morency also as the day goes on here. Inside on the right tackle, and that is Morency, a freshman out of Miami, Florida. He's averaging five yards a carry and has scored three touchdowns. Cody and Bingham there for Nebraska that time. Morency, just four carries, seven yards in the Kansas State game. It's a guy that is a little bit older, he has four years of minor league baseball experience in the Colorado Rockies organization. They're real excited about him, just needing some time to groom him here. And it is third and five at the 43 of Nebraska. Morency again had a bit of a hole and then spins to the 40. Be a couple short of the first down. And yeah, going to be a decision here for Les Miles what to do on this fourth down situation. About two yards it looks like. Looks like they're going to send the punt team out there. I think it's probably a good call here. You're at home. Go ahead and pin the, the Huskers back, punt the ball down there deep, and that's probably a smart thing to do early in this football game. Les Miles in his second year here as an assistant coach with the Dallas Cowboys. Prior to that was an assistant here at Oklahoma State. Has also been at Colorado and a couple of stints at Michigan. He's a former Wolverine player. In the end zone it goes and nearly brought down on the goal line, but not quite. Nice punt by Farden. We'll take a break. No score. 0-0 zero, zero here in Stillwater. Welcome back to Stillwater. 8.51 to go. First period, first and 10 at the 20-yard line for Nebraska. Second possession for the Huskers. Lord, play action and airing it out. Incomplete, knocked away. Elbert Craig and Williams there. Durant Williams coming up with the deflection. Well, you're going to have play action here for Nebraska. Throw the ball down the field. Excellent job of execution there. But this is just a great play by the defender coming inside. Watch the play getting underneath the receiver. And I think if Jamal Lord had thrown that ball out a little bit deeper, might have had a big play for the Huskers. Second and ten. Off tackle to the right side, picking up around five. Milligan makes the tackle. Well, certainly Nebraska football fans and people across America are concerned about the condition of Jake Young and the situation involving the two-time All-American center back in the 80s as Young, an international lawyer, was based in Hong Kong and was with a rugby team in Indonesia during the bombings that took place October 12th, and there has been no word on Jake Young. The completion at the 31 should be a first down for Nebraska on the play, the completion to Pilkington. And Frank Solich saying a great player for us, but above and beyond that, a great individual and a great representative of the University of Nebraska. His wife and young son were already in the process of moving back to Kansas City and were in the States, so they were not involved. But certainly our thoughts and prayers go out to uh, the entire family, and we hope for the best, but it does not look good at all. First down, Nebraska going to the ground game again, and David Horn stopped by Elbert Craig. Horn is a freshman from Omaha who, after not playing in the first four, the last two games he has been dynamite. With 169 yards total, you see, and a touchdown run included in that. David Horn. Omaha Central, a school that has produced a ton of great football players up in Nebraska. Second and three at the 38. And this time, nothing doing for Judd Davies, the fullback. He's averaging 4.1 per carry. Bill, if you're going to play the option, there's a couple of ways to defend it, but if you get into the backfield of the, of the offense, you're going to make trouble for that offense trying to execute that time. But Waylon Brown and Kevin Williams do a good job up front for the Cowboys. They had penetration. They got the fullback as he got the ball handed off to him. That's your loss in the play. Third and three at the 38. Horn avoided an ankle tackle and got to the 
48-yard line before Paul Duren made the tackle. You know, making the tackle today, Gary, is going to be key. When you're in position, this Oklahoma State team is going to have to make plays. Well, Nebraska's going to keep running at you time in and time out. And out here, you're going to have number nine come up. He's got to make this tackle. But Darren Williams has to make the tackle on the outside. If he doesn't do it, the Huskers get the first down, which they do here. David Horn, you talked about him. Just a, just a freshman coming in, doing a good job running that eye back spot for the Huskers. Horn. Good action. A fumble on the snap, and Lord trying to dive on it. And has come up with it. Clock still moving, 6.20 go first quarter. Take a look here, see what happens on the ball is delivered. Jamal Lord just doesn't squeeze it. Luckily, he's able to get down on top of it. Horn today, three carries, 23 yards. We've seen a little bit of everything for Nebraska already. He had LaFleur on the end around for a 29-yard scamper. Lord cuts it right back up the field. Is stopped just shy of the 50. And it's going to be a third and long coming up as Williams made the tackle. You know, Bill, there's a lot of teams that look at Nebraska. It's not the same team. Look what they've done on the home so far this year, 5-0 and 0-2 and 0 on the road, a couple of tough games away. And their production is different. On, at home, they're 400 yards a game, and on the road, 300. Tougher environments to play in. They have to respond better on the road. Yeah, and this goes back to last year where they dropped it. They were blown out by Colorado, and then, of course, in the BCS title game, hammered by Miami. So they've lost their last four away from Lincoln. And Lord, his ankle grabbed and brought down. No whistle. His knee did not touch. He picks up a yard or two. Greg Richmond is the one that had him in the nearly in the grasp. Massey made the tackle, and Nebraska will have to punt it away. Almost a huge play by Greg Richmond, number 45 for the Cowboys. His defensive end spot rushes up the field. Good job on the play action pass. He just gets by the left tackle. And almost makes a good play here. Another guy coming through, but Richmond just staying after him and just tracks him down from the backside. Massey comes up from his safety spot and makes the tackle. Larson to kick it away. Bryant is the deep man for Oklahoma State. Waves the fair catch and takes it inside the 15-yard line. And with 4.31 to go in the first quarter, still no score between Nebraska and Oklahoma State. 0-0 zero, zero here in Stillwater between the Pokes and the Huskers. This fall, get your NFL fix a day earlier with the most outrageous, unpredictable NFL pregame show you've ever seen. Introducing the NFL show on Fox Sports Net with Michael Irvin, Tony Siragusa, and comedian Tommy Davidson. Pregame shows may never be the same. And start your NFL weekend the night before kickoff. The NFL show presented by the U.S. US Postal Service. Pickup of seven on the first down carry. A couple of times here early in this football game, the Cowboys doing a good job running between the tackles against Nebraska. Their defense felt like they haven't been playing as physical as they like to play, and that's one of the key things that they want to improve upon as they get going through the rest of the season. And Tatum Bell gets his fifth carry of the day. He got 48 yards on his first four, had that 32-yarder that got folks excited. Demario Williams makes the tackle from his linebacker spot for Nebraska on this play. Bill, we talked to Craig Bowl, the defense quarter for Nebraska. There were three things he really wanted to accomplish in his football game. He said they needed to press the pocket on the quarterback, Josh Fields, make, make it tough for him to maneuver back there, and obviously eliminate the run. If they can do that and make this team one-dimensional, then take away the big plays in the passing game. Clamp down on the receivers, that means clamp down on Rashawn Woods. Now, last week, Oklahoma State just 184 yards of total offense against Kansas State. They want to put some pressure on the still young quarterback of the Cowboys. First, they've got to do just that, and that is stop the rushing game on a third and one. The bell looked like he got enough. Yes, to the 25, he'll get the first down. And what about the surface and the track down there? Let's go down to Zach Klein. All right, Bill, thank you very much. I spoke with Tatum Bell, the junior from DeSoto, Texas, about the footy. It's drizzling, a little bit of a constant rain, but it is not that bad. He's going to what they call their field spikes for grass. That's the maximum length allowed. He says footing is not a problem. Bill, back up to you upstairs. Thanks, Zach. This is Astro play. Nebraska has a similar surface, but it's a different type called field turf. So they're, they're similar, but uh, as far as artificial, but they're both wearing 
Nebraska told us we're going to wear the same thing that we wear at home. We're not making any changes. Clanton and Williams make the tackle here on the first down carry. Well, it looks great. I tell you, the field from up here looks like it's a great grass field. Down there, I, I do think that there is a little bit of moisture on top of that field. That If you take a soft step, if you don't really plant, you're going to slide. There's no doubt about that. So when you talk about the passing game and making cuts, there's probably a, a, an advantage to the receivers in that because the defenders are reacting to where the receivers know where they're going with the football. Second and 10 for the 25. Bell lined up in the backfield. Fields complete. Woods 40, 42 yard line. Rashawn Woods his first reception of the day. Philip Bland makes the tackle. Woods with 47 receptions now, averaging over seven and a half grabs per contest. Well, we talked about coming out shooting. That's what they do here. Get it to Rashawn Woods on the outside. Hey, he's a threat. They press him off. Press it up tight on him, and he have to, they have to give room to him because he's a big play receiver. Fabian Washington, the young freshman cornerback, has the duty this time. He slips out there, as I talked about, when Woods makes a cut. He breaks away and can't keep up with him. First and 10 at the 43. Morency back in the lineup. Tugging along for a yard or two to the 45-yard line where Josh Bullock makes the tackle. Josh and his twin brother Daniel, both in the secondary for Nebraska. I think Les Miles has got to be pleased here so far in this football game. Talked about, you know, punting it back and forth a couple of times, staying in this football game. Your defense is playing well. Now your offense is moving almost up to the midfield spot here. I would expect the Cowboys to start taking a shot down the field. First quarter winding down in fields. Incomplete, trying to go to the tight end, Bajima. We'll stop the clock with 112 to go. Well, folks around the Big 12 will tell you, Nebraska is not at the level of some of those pa those past teams. They're not ranked. They had had 348 consecutive weeks, not since 81 had they not been in the rankings. But when they lost to Penn State and then Iowa State, that knocked them from there. But everyone will also tell you, but hey, this is a bunch of bums. They're still five and two. They still have the tradition and they still have the work ethic and the coaching. And this is a team not to be taken lightly by any means. Third and eight. Fields. Got a man complete. Woods at the 30. Washington covering on the play the best he could. Great throw, great reception. Well, when you run the ball between the tackles, you have to honor that inside. Rashawn Woods, benefit of a play-action faker, gets inside on Washington, who has him man-to-man, -man, just goes up. They throw the ball up on purpose to Rashawn Woods up high because of his athleticism. He goes up and makes the grab, Bill. Now, one thing Josh Fields has learned very quickly here is when in doubt, put it up high. If it's a jump ball situation, they like their chances. You see the receiving leaders in Woods in the year he's having. Bell tied up here. Loss on the play. Is that fooled nobody? And the tackle is made by Adams. Well, they ran that play successfully a couple of times before. That off tackle to the left side with Tatum Bell. Hey, they've got to keep doing that. Mike Gundy has to say, hey, I've got to run the football, and that's going to open up that passing game to Rashawn Woods and company outside and be able to make the play pass the plays on play action phase. Clock winding down at the end of the first quarter. Mike was telling us yesterday, he goes, I have to be careful as a coach because I'm very aggressive to temper that a little bit, to keep our team in position, to execute its game plan, stretch the game into the fourth quarter to have a shot to win there. Fields to throw it here and complete again to Woods. You see those basketball players that get on a little run where they hit one three, hit another, maybe a steal and a dunk. Well, I get the feeling it's like that way with Woods. If he gets in a little groove, he's kind of like a well-oiled running back. That ends the first quarter. No score. Oklahoma State and Nebraska, if you're watching the Dr. Pepper. Big 12 game of the week on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Lewis Field as we get ready for the start of the second quarter. Bill Land and Gary Reasons with you. No score, Gary, but certainly a very interesting first quarter. A couple of boxers going at it, huh? <laughs> a couple of teams feeling each other out here. I think Oklahoma State came out. They got to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. Running the ball, play action passing. I think the Rashawn Woods and Josh Fields, they've showed that they can throw the ball effectively outside. But this team gets a, doing a good job on the, on the running game. It's only going to complement that passing game, Bill. And I think overall, They've got what they've wanted here in this first quarter. Now they're into the second quarter, and they have to produce. This current drive, you take a look at it, has been pretty, pretty uh, impressive. 
Thanks, Gary. And Fields had the ball tipped, I believe, on the third and eight from the 28-yard line. Cabongo on the defensive line is the one that got a hand on it for Nebraska. So Cabongo with the deflection. And Oklahoma State now, the wind at its back, will go for the field goal. And interesting, those passes to Woods, you see the payoff as they were able to pass into the wind, Gary, but it set them up here to still have a shot, even though they didn't get the first down, at least getting three points. Yeah, it's kind of a north northeasterly wind. It's going from the right to the left across the screen as you're looking at it today. They look at the number for Phillips on the, on the season. As long as 46, this is 45, should be able to make this kick. So Phillips sets up for the 45-yarder. Good snap. And it is good. And as Missouri jumped out on Nebraska last week, Oklahoma State does here today. The Cowboys with a 45-yard field goal make it a three to nothing game. Let's take a look at our Dr. Pepper Big 12 Player of the Week. Hard to deny Quentin Griffin last week. What an effort against Texas, 248 yards rushing, 7.8 per carry. And Mac Brown's probably still having nightmares about what he saw. Well, he's a special back. He's one of those backs that's very shifty, hard to get a hold of, and hard to find, actually, at 5'9". And now he's just smart, too. Hey, go to the football, make a play. That's what he does here on the goal line, picks up a loose ball, and that was a big play in that football game. Quentin Griffin, the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Player of the Week. Speaking of big games, Oklahoma, south of us, and Norman gearing up for their big contest against ninth-ranked Iowa State in the battle of Big 12 unbeatens. Iowa State, of course, got everybody's attention when they beat this Nebraska team out of the end zone, and it'll be first and 10 at the 20. The Cowboys on the scoring drive, 11 plays, 440s as important as anything, I think, Gary, and Phillips cashes in. No doubt, and the three receptions there to Rashawn Woods for 48 yards, that is key. They threw the ball down the field. Good job that time by Josh Field to executing. The running game is really what opened up the passing game for the Cowboys. Lord and the Huskers bringing out first and 10 at the 20. On the ground as you would expect with Nebraska as David Horn is stopped by Williams well, Nebraska you see what happens when they score first 37 and 3 well that's one thing Oklahoma State and say you can put away. Flag is thrown as the ball carrier stopped at the 25-yard line. Had a penalty flag thrown by the back judge, 20 yards back behind the play. Horn was the ball carrier that time. And the legal block. He sees the field from his depth of that position. He sees who's coming inside to the box, the area that for the players inside, and that's going to be an illegal block. They'll march it off here. Well, with it's, a, it's a decision, Bill. They can, they can take the penalty or not, and they'll bring up a, a third and four, third and five. They may decline this. Track back, black on the offense. Half the distance to the goal line. Repeat second down. And they take it. They're going to push him back. Play that field position. Of course, Les Miles and the Cowboy coaching staff wanting to get Nebraska into the throwing situation and then try to keep Lord under wraps that he doesn't make something big if the throwing game breaks down. Well, Jamal has not shown that he is going to beat you with his arm. You know, he may beat you with his legs, but he hasn't proven that he's able to beat you with his arm, and that's what the Cowboys are trying to ha happen in this football game. Make him a one-dimensional player and and they can do something upstairs. Junior from Bayonne, Nebraska, and some forget that while all those great games that Eric Crouch provided, the Heisman Trophy winner last year from Nebraska, Lord was biding his time, biding his time, and a relatively inexperienced junior player. And 
Frank Solich pleading patience with the public. The block in the back on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Repeat second down. Saying that this team will get better and Lord will get better. And so much is always on the shoulders of a Nebraska quarterback. <laughs> when you follow a guy like Eric Crouch, that's a tough shoot to <laughs> fill. And the young man's done a decent job. Five and two as a starter for this football team. And we're trying to get him on track on the road. Well, tough situation here for the Huskers. Second down. And 15. The ball marked on the 15-yard line. They'll operate out of the shotgun, and now Lord comes up to change the play. And he keeps it with the quarterback right up the middle. And Lord to the 30 and close to the first down, depending on where they spot the football, as Terrence Robinson made the tackle. And usually when you see those wideouts, you start to think, all right, they're going to throw it, but that's exactly what you got to watch if you're OSU. Well, a pretty nifty play here. This is a quarterback counter. This is what you see a lot of times. I-back teams run. They're going to run that counter play and pull the offside guard and tackle. They do that with their quarterback just as easily here. So Lord picks up the first down, averaging six plus per carry. And their leading rusher coming in here today. He scored six touchdowns. He's thrown for six touchdowns. Also has six picks against him. First and 10 at the 30. Horn. Got outside and Horn. He may have gotten 10 there. Williams makes the play at about the 41 yard line. Lord setting everything up with his big. 15-yard run. Frank Solich had the following comments about Lord and his progress at quarterback this year. You know, he played well early. He had a couple games um, uh, when we traveled on the road that uh, he did not play well, but we didn't play well as an offensive football team against uh, a couple very good um, uh, football teams. And so consequently, um, you know, we all needed to rebound a little bit, and I think that has happened. Jamal played very well um, in our last two ball games. Well, the McNeese game, Gary, where he ran for 218 yards and threw for 151 and set some records there for Nebraska, gave you an idea of the potential of this player. Well, he can run the football. He can run that option. Just got to get on track, got to be positive. And I think one of the things that I see here right now in this drive is their offensive line is starting to take over here. They're pulling the guards and doing a good job getting out, getting lead blocked. For, for Jamal Lord and company. Second and seven. Play action. Lord steps up in trouble. Brought down. A sack on the play. Kevin Williams. Well, we talked about Kevin Williams playing well, and Greg Richmond actually puts the pressure on on the outside. Initially, the defensive end gets up the field, squeezes the pocket on the quarterback, makes him step up, and Kevin Williams pushes from his defensive tackle spot. They look like Williams, he's going to work inside, and Richmond's going to come and squeeze the pocket. Watch what I tell you. He's going to step up, and Kevin Williams just finishes the play. Third down and 15. When they go play action pass, deep sets here by the quarterback, you want to step up with comfort, but you can't do it because Kevin Williams... Big defensive tackles right his face. Third and 15 at the 36. Last time on a 15-yard need, he took it like this. This time, he still escapes two tacklers to the outside, and a flag is thrown before he's run out of bounds near the 41-yard line. You saw the elusiveness of Jamal Lord. But nice containment by the Cowboys. Well, they have to contain. they got to bring a lot of bodies back there. You'll see the... The penalty here, it's going to be a hold on the outside. But Jamal Lord shows he's very elusive as a quarterback. The offense. Penalty is declined, brings up fourth down. Yeah, they'll, they'll not choose to take this one. You don't want to give him another shot. And with fourth down coming up, a punt opportunity here. That means Kyle Larson, junior from Funk, Nebraska, will come on. Out of Kearney High School, Nebraska. He averages 43 yards per kick, 15th best in the country. And there is TD, as they call him. Terrence Davis Bryant is back for the punt return. Fourth and seven. Good kick, fair catch. And he makes it right at the 16-yard line. We'll take a break with 11.26 to go in the half. 3-0 Oklahoma State. 
Cowboys 45-yard field goal by Phillips, and they have a 3-0 lead here in the Big 12. College football Saturday presented by Kiyosara returns to Fox Sports Net tonight with a Big 12 showdown when the 8th-ranked Texas Longhorns try to rebound from the loss to Oklahoma as they face 17th-ranked Kansas State in Manhattan. Coverage begins tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific, right here on Fox Sports Net. First and 10. And about a yard gain as Bingham makes the tackle on Tatum Bell. Bell, a junior, 5'11", 210 from DeSoto, Texas, just south of Dallas. And Bill, one note here about the Nebraska defense. You know, their corners, they stay on either side. They don't really flip. They don't match up man on man with one particular receiver. So Mike Gundy, the offense corner for Oklahoma State, he can really pick who he wants to match Rashawn Woods up on on one side of the field or the other. This time he's in with the near side, and it's going to be DeWan Gross. And Fields, with pressure, throws it away. And that is something that Les Miles told us he wants to see more of. He said if he's under pressure, he's got to learn to recognize better. If that means eat it, eat it. But we cannot throw the ball up for grabs. And Fields this year with 11 touchdown passes, but eight interceptions, and some of those have been very costly. Well, you know, they question his vision and how well he steps up into the pocket because he's had some pressure, he's thrown some bad balls, and that's a decision that he throws the ball out of bounds and smartly does so. Those are the kind of progressions that you want from your sophomore quarterback. Third down and nine. Ball on the 17. Cowboys holding a 3-0 lead here in the second quarter. Bell. A tough run. Got to the 21. And it's a punt situation. Well, sometimes that's okay. Third and long, instead of trying to make a big play down the field, don't throw it down there where you possibly might throw an interception and make a big play for the defense. Run it in there. Hey, play field position. You're punting with the win. See if you can win in the kicking game. Cole Farden, 40-yard punt last time, high snap. He's going to Dewan Gross, the best in the country. Gross backpedaling to the 25. Watch out when he gets one man. 35, 40. Gross spins and returns it to the 47-yard line. For a Dr. Pepper game break, let's go to our Fox Sportsnet studio with Bill Jones. Now let's check out early action in the Southeastern Conference. Athens, Georgia, unbeaten fifth-ranked Georgia hosting Vanderbilt, tied 7-7. Incredible play fake. David Green, the quarterback, up top to Terrence Edwards. The Bulldogs are fooling Vandy and lead 14-7 in the second. Thank you, Bill. 53-yard punt, but Gary, did he outkick his coverage on the 17-yard return? It was not a very high punt. It came down, and Dewan Gross picked up a couple of blocks right there to get him started, giving the Huskers good field position. First and 10, and Gross goes deep and completes it inside the 10-yard line as Elbert Craig made the touchdown-saving tackle on Harrion. Matt Harrion, a freshman from Pierce, Nebraska, with the big reception. Well, when you go man-to-man -man coverage on the outside and your linebackers are asked to cover inside, Matt Harrion's down here. He's going to work down to the middle of the field. Good play-action fake that time. Quarterback does take a shot after he throws it. An excellent throw and a good, good grab. Well, Frank Solich, who is his own offensive coordinator, said he's been impressed with the play of his tight ends, and he wanted to get Harrion in the, the action. And how today? As on the ground, this one, Darren Diedrich keeps it. Williams makes the tackle. Well, this is all set up by the punt return. We talked about Dewan Gross doing that time in and time out here for this Nebraska team. Then you take a big shot. A lot of te teams will do that on the 45-yard line, 50-yard line in. Take a big play, and that's what Frank Solich does. Throws the ball down there to his wide receiver and makes a big play. First or the second and goal from the six-yard line. Lord looking for a hole and then hit hard near the two-yard line. Williams there to lead the way for the Cowboys. Well, this is one play that I think the quarterback really should pitch this ball. He goes down the line of scrimmage. He has all three backs out in front of him. Watch him here. They're all leading. You're going to see Jamal Lord. He's going to turn the ball up and come in here. All three backs are ready to lead. Go ahead and pitch it right now. you got two lead blockers. He'll take care of the defense. And he takes it inside. That's one he really should get back to his deep tailback. It'll make it third and goal at the two. as much racket as they can. Diedrich dancing. 
advances to the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Nice cut. That was an excellent cut in the backfield, Bill. And Diedrich gets his 23rd career touchdown. Senior out of Ontario, Canada. And the Huskers take the lead, 6-3. to three. Chance to tack on another one here with a point after. And Josh Brown, he's 26 of 26 on the year, make it 27-27. Diedrich, the touchdown, the punt return started, and then Harrion's long reception, all part of it. 7-3 Nebraska with a timeout. Seven three Nebraska. Diedrich gets the TD for the Cornhuskers, and Diedrich getting his third score of the year. And Nebraska on the drive, five plays, 53 yards. Perry in the 44-yard reception. Diedrich caps it off, and Gross set it up with a punt return that could have been negative, and instead turns into 17 yards. Then good field position. The kickoff here, high and short, and Bryant. From scrambling to make a grab at the 25, so Oklahoma State will operate there. And we'll see how the Cowboys play when down in the football game. 8.13 to go here in the second quarter. Look at, look at Dewan Gross here. He set up that last touchdown for the Cornhuskers on the punt return. He was out there at his cornerback spot. Yards so far, 149 for Nebraska to 118 for Oklahoma State. Cowboys have been moving it well. Challenge here, though, on first and 10. Just off the fingertips of the intended receiver, John Lewis, senior from Port Arthur, Texas. Now let's go back to that Nebraska. The key play, just the second reception of the year for Herring. Yeah, Matt Herring takes the play action pass here from Jamal Ward, sets it up 44 yards on that play, and then your big tailback, good cut in the backfield, takes away the aggressiveness of the defense, goes behind the back door, and good job that time on Nebraska, capitalizing on good field position. Yeah, you can tell Diedrich's been there before. Nice read and move, and the Cowboys now second and 10 from their own 21-yard line. Fields, short drop. Looking for Woods and a little bumping back and forth. Nebraska wanting offensive interference. Well, the Cowboys go empty in the backfield. They're going to put all receivers out in the pattern. Do a good job protecting here for the quarterback. They just throw it up to Rashawn Woods. They think, hey, he can go up basketball style, make the grab, pull it down. Fabian Washington on the bottom has the coverage here. He's at the bottom here of the screen. He's going to come down. Watch his hands. He extends his hands a lot. You see that as he extends. Now that possibly is pass interference on the offense, but ball's overthrown. Minimal contact here. You see the Nebraska sideline. They're wanting to get a call there. Downfield on the offense. Five yards Fabian penalty. Washington was covering. So the illegal receiver downfield and the penalty be issued against Oklahoma State. Move it back five to the 16 yard line, and they'll repeat the down. That ball was thrown pretty quick. Tough to get an illegal receiver down yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is uh, just a three step drop, and that's pretty much what they're having to do with fields. They've had trouble protecting them, and that all goes back to getting the running game going. Second and 15 from the 16 yard line. Here's Morency. Nebraska contains him well. He is tackled near the 18, and Barrett Rude, the middle linebacker, a sophomore from Lincoln, Nebraska, makes the tackle. Let him in tackles coming in here with 41. And a second team freshman All-American last year. He broke his hand early in the year and had trouble getting started. He's come in and played pretty well. He's improving and good player at the linebacker spot. You know, and you talk about injuries. Chris Kelsey, who was a key on their front, not playing today out with a hamstring injury. It looks like Nebraska's taken a while to get used to playing without him. But they've been much stronger here in the latter stages of the half. Here's Fields dancing away from one. Going to keep the football. Needs to be one man. And he held up. And that's what did him in. As he couldn't get away from Lakeven Smith. That was a great job by Lakeven. The big guy, the big defensive tackle, just tracks down the quarterback. Hey, skate down the line of scrimmage, and the quarterback tries to get around you. Hey, just take up the big ground. That's what the big guy did. I like that play. Yeah, it's, it's one on one out there in Fields. It was contained by it. Yeah, he tucked the ball. He had made a decision to run. Bring on the punter again, Cole Farden. 
And then Gross, deep, up near the 40. Gross, flag thrown. Gross still on his feet. And is tackled near the 48-yard line. And you know what's interesting with Gross, you think of a kick returner as slippery and elusive. He showed some toughness there, Gary, to be wrapped up and still almost break some tackles. Well, he runs with attitude also, Bill. He's one of those, he's a cornerback. He's tough, he's physical, he likes to play, and he's pretty good in bump coverage. And that's the kind of a player that he is, you know. And, you know, I look at that return. It really wasn't much of a return set up at all. It's just kind of an individual blocking type Holding thing, and he just picks his way through. During the run back, 10 yards from the end of the run, first down. Well, as Gross gets a breather following that holding call, let's go back to last week against Missouri, and this was one that really turned the game around. Well, watch the lane that opens up for him inside here. Nobody touches him, and he just has to beat one guy. Who does he have to beat? The good old punter, and he just kind of lets him drop to the ground, and Dewan Gross says, hey, I've got great vision. I can run an 89-yard touchdown return. It's a big reason they won that football game last week, Bill. Yeah, and they held Missouri to under 30 yards of offense in the second half. And, and, Today, even though Gross didn't score, again, his punt return, you just cannot underestimate the importance and the boost it gives to an offensive football team as Kareem Smith makes the tackle on this play. Well, if you're going to get pressure in the backfield, that's what you want to do. Watch Kevin Williams, number 58, just go down low and get inside there. He just pushes the defensive tackle back. Oh, that's... That's Kevin just uh, whipping the leg whipping. That's actually a penalty. <laughs> just didn't didn't get called. Somebody always uses. We don't need instant replay for that. On the ground. Nice job again by Horn. And David is tackled by Ricklin Holmes Miller, senior out of Tyler, Texas, from John Tyler High School, and. Nebraska with 5.54 to go in the first half and a 7-3 lead, moving it again near midfield. And I can see why Frank Solich likes David Horn. Got good quick feet going through the hole. Yeah, he's got a little burst about him there. It's going to be a third and one now. 37-yard line. Yeah, they may measure. Yeah, that's pretty close. No, well, they're actually giving it to him right there. They didn't, yep. even, they didn't even bring the sticks out. Well, well, as close as it was to the hash mark, it was a pretty easy read for the official there. Well, the Cowboys need to stop him here on defense. They, they need to get some momentum back in their favor. Clock moving 5.42 to go in the quarter. First and 10 of the 47. And a big rush there to put the stop on Judd Davies and Kevin Williams and Beck also in on the play. We talked to Bill Clay about their defense. He said, hey, we have to play more physical up front. Our defensive front the last couple of times out, they weren't as physical as they wanted to be. They felt like we were going to see some option last week against Kansas State. They didn't see as much, but the, the, the J, uh, Kansas State brought the power game at them. That was difficult for them to handle. Second and nine. Lord with a keep and around the end. First down and more. Watch out as Jamal Lord scampers into the Nebraska sideline, pushed out by Kirk Milligan. And Lord takes it to the 36-yard line. A lot, of different, yeah, a lot of different weapons in this offense. Good play call here. It's going to be faked inside, and everyone's going to go inside and watch the quarterback come around the corner. And he just has one man to beat, goes to the sideline, has to step out of bounds. But good job that time and execution by the Huskers. First and 10 at the 36 of Oklahoma State. Four wideouts in and out of the shotgun. The handoff in the backfield to Horn. was brought down by Williams. One of the things the OSU coaches would tell us, Gary, is that you can key on personnel and formation as to run or pass. Nebraska, normally you see the four wide outs, you think pass, a little different here. Well, it's always got to, got to have your key breakers, and that's what they did there. Spread it out, run the football, and you have to do that to keep, it on, keep them honest. Otherwise, defenses are going to gang up on you. They're going to know exactly what you're going to do, and they'll try to make substitutions for their benefit. Horn, 10 carries for 60 yards as this play doesn't get underway without the flag. And the helmet comes flying off. To go I, the uh, junior from Hawaii. We'll start on the offense. Five yards, remain second down. There's to 
Tagoa, I guess it is, and uh, 6'2", 285. And I've watched him pull today, Bill. He's a, he's a pretty good pulling guard, doing a good job on the schemes coming around. Tough guy, physical. He's one of those guys that squares up on the defender. Does an effective job blocking. Just stays with his man. And that's what you have to do in this offense. When you run that option attack, just go ahead and stay on the man. Make it difficult for the defenders to get off the block. It's going to be tough for them to find out actually who has the ball and make a tackle. Out in the penalty, second and seven. Ball at the 33-yard line. Still plenty of time with 425 to go second quarter. Lord, quick drop. Almost picked off right into the arms of Antonio Smith. He batted it down. He avoided the cut block. They try to cut block the defensive ends on this. A quick three-step drop. Cut the defensive end and allow him not to get up and get this ball. You're going to see the offensive line here on the right side. You see the cut block. He avoids it and goes up in the air. That's exactly what he has to do. And when he sees that, that's coaching. That's keys. When they say when they see a cut block, they know it's going to be a three-step drop pass. Get your hands up and Smith makes a nice play. Third and seven at the 33. Lord out of the gun again. it away and the Cowboys got pressure on the quarterback from Smith and now with a fourth and seven at the 33 it's a 50 yarder into the wind if you want to try the field goal or do you just go for it and uh, see if you can just extend the drive, Gary. Or you try the pooch kick to try to get inside the 20. There's well, your option. They're going to think about it, Bill. They're <laughs> going to take a timeout and <laughs> find out what to do. It's not an easy decision. We'll think about it as well. Stay with us. Nebraska with the lead 7-3. Interesting situation here. Bill and Gary Reason, Zach Klein with the Nebraska up four, a fourth and seven at the 33. 50-yard field goal attempt. Pooch kick, go for it. A lot, of, a lot of different options here. I'm not even sure what they've got here on the field. It's a mad huddle at the line of scrimmage. They're going to punt the football. You saw Lord on the sidelines, and he obviously is disappointed. I mean, it's Kyle Larson. You've got to be aware of the fake, as always. This is the defense on the field for the Cowboys. Almost blocked as Larson got what he wanted. It is caught and down at the three-yard line. And that's your gunner, Dewan Gross, number five, comes down. He covers kicks as well for the Huskers. Let's go down quickly to Zach Klein. All right, Bill, thank you very much. In a little over four minutes, it's the Sonic half rhyme Time Report. Bill Jones, Jones will join us in the studio with complete highlights from around the country, plus your Big 12 football roundup and much more. We have a preview of the eighth-ranked Texas Longhorns taking on Kansas State. All of that and more four minutes away on the Sonic Halftime Report. Thank you, Zach. Gary, we were talking during the break, and some Nebraska fans may be saying, hey, why don't you go for that? What's the matter with you? Well, if they don't get it, what happens? Yeah, it's a big momentum swing. The Cowboys, the momentum would be in their favor at that point, and plus, pretty good field position. Yeah, and you still have time to get the football back if you can stop Oklahoma State here. As Bell, coming out of his own end zone, not much doing there, and Nebraska still having some timeouts to work with. They're saying, hey, we get a three and out here, fellas. We'll get a whole new set of downs and still plenty of time to score. Exactly, plenty of time here for that team to come back and another defense. The Blackshirts have to respond out there defensively and you got them backed up here, the Cowboys, and go ahead and keep them back there. That's what they like to do. They've got Dewan Gross can return a punt, make a big play in that phase of the game. Of course, what were we saying during the break? Oh, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Great being the fan where you don't have to pay for those decisions. I think the rain has <laughs> picked up a little bit more outside, Bill. Yeah, and it uh, started this morning, and the wind back and forth as far as gusting. A second down, Tatum Bell protecting the football. Comes out, hit hard around the eight-yard line. That was a third and nine. And or a second and nine, and Hollowell made the tackle, T.J. Hollowell on Tatum Bell. Yeah, you want to have ball control down here in your offense. You know, when you pitch the ball in the backfield, I th I'm not sure that that's real conservative. That's what they did to Tatum Bell, toss it back there. And when you got a wet football, that's not something you really want to do out there. And I'm surprised that Mike Gundy called that play, but really they want to control the football here. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, don't make a play where the defense can force a turnover. And, and they've got a third and four situation, Bill. Yep, from the eight and a half and fields. Throws it to Woods, Rashawn Woods, and then fumble the football. 
still going to be Oklahoma State ball, I believe, and should be the first down. We'll see where they mark it. I think they're going to call him out of bounds where the ball came out, touched the sideline. Rashawn Woods pushes away inside. He pushes off the defender and goes back. It's kind of a wheel route. You're going to see here he's just going to do something after the catch. The defense comes up. That's a fumble, but you see he's in contact with the ball and the sideline at the same time, so that is the correct call. Well, and that's a big play for just what we were talking about. If they don't come up with that, they've got to give the ball back to Nebraska. Now, with 2.32 to go in the half, it's a new set of downs, first and 10 at the 17. And Bell breaks loose. Bell out to the 30, 32-yard line before Bland makes the tackle. Now, all of a sudden, the OSU strategy may change. Well, this is what happens when you spread your offense out. You take four wide receivers out there, just hand it off inside. Then you need one block. You got all the, everybody outside and just pop it inside to Bell. Breaks one tackle the line of scrimmage, and the only guy who's there to make the tackle is your free safety who has to come over and make a play. The Cowboys have all three of their timeouts remaining. So, 214 and counting here. And another big play away from starting to utilize those. Fields going for it and finds his man. Woods again in midfield. Rashawn Woods scampers down to the 45-yard line. Bland with the tackle. Well, I'm not sure the Huskers have an answer to Rashawn Woods. He's doing anything that he wants to going through that secondary. He pushes up, comes inside, pushes up, goes outside. Good job of play action fake here. You can see Josh Fields throw the ball to the middle of the field. Last time you saw Woods go outside. This time he comes inside. There's a big void in the area. Nice strike by the quarterback. 23 yards in the pickup. He's got 80 yards in receiving already on five receptions. First to 10 at the 45. Fields. Play action. Woods right through his hands. Oh, wet ball or not, that doesn't happen very often. Well, I think Mr. Washington, number three for the Huskers, is getting a, an education. And hey, this is a big time receiver. He probably hasn't seen anybody like Rashawn Woods push it up. You have to respect his speed, and he just has a good stop and start. Comes back in the ball right through his hands, as you said, Bill. Yeah, quite an education. Last week it was Justin Gage from Missouri, and now Woods. And Craig Bowl, the defensive coordinator of Nebraska, telling us that these guys will be matched up, but he's got to get them some help elsewhere in the secondary from the safeties. Second and 10 at the 45. Morency. Good job by the Nebraska defensive front. John Clayton, 6'2", 285, a senior from Glendale, Arizona, makes the tackle on Morency on that play. Clanton, big play. Good job that time by the defensive tackle. Pushing his man into the backfield and making the tackle on Morty. We can't, he can't lose, be lost in this game because they'd be down to one of their better tailbacks. Morty, the second tailback in here today for Oklahoma State. Clock still moving. Third down and 13 as we hit the one minute mark. Rain and wind continuing here in Stillwater. Pokes trailing Nebraska 7 3. Third and 13 at the 48. Fields. Away at the line. Bullocks, I believe, is the one that got a hand on it. Josh Bullocks, the redshirt freshman twins from Chattanooga, Tennessee. But more importantly, here, what Oklahoma State did, Bill, was they came off of their goal line, they drove the ball out to midfield, made some plays in the passing game. Got positive yards. Now they're going to kick the ball down where Nebraska, if they're going to try to make a score, they're going to have to go the full field. Yeah, and, and again, OSU fans, why do you use the timeouts? Well, you don't, you get the first down there, now you're using them trying to score. You don't, you want that clock to wind down quickly. Gross will stay away from this one, and OSU unable to get in front of it to pin them. But just the same, Nebraska will have to go 80 yards now with just 37 seconds and two timeouts to do it. Well, this is a number of the matchups this week in the conference that are north versus south. you got Oklahoma, Iowa State later today. Texas at Kansas State. A&M and Tech and Baylor all at one and one. And then Oklahoma State, after losing at Texas by two, and at K-State, and looking for their first league win. On the other side, Iowa State, the story so far, 3-0. and Colorado 2-0. Boy, they rebounded quickly. And K-State, one and one, going into their battle with Longhorns. Let's 
second and ten and gain a four on that play. Nebraska, Diedrich's touchdown. It's lone score with a PAT by Brown and for Oklahoma State, it's been Phillips in the 45-yard field goal that gave OSU the lead. And that'll be the end of the first half. And Oklahoma State down four to Nebraska, seven to three. Halftime on Fox Sports Night of Big 12 football. We'll join Bill Jones for the Sonic Halftime Report in just a moment. We're at Lewis Field in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and the Sonic Halftime Report continues with Nebraska leading Oklahoma State in Big 12 football 7-3. Let's go down to Zach Klein with head coach of the Pokes, Les Miles. All right, Bill, thank you very much. Coach, down four going into the second half. What kind of adjustments can we make for the final four, two this quarters? This is the style of game that we need to be in. It should be a tight ball game. Our defense is playing well. We're going to let our defense play. We're protecting the passer. We're going to continue to do the same things. We've got to rush the football, protect the passer, and then when we throw, give him some time. You we can get open. You were thrown to Rashawn. Big success early. Yes, sir. Thank you. Two quarters ahead, we see if Oklahoma State can uh, come away with their first victory over Nebraska since 1961. But on the other side, guys, Nebraska under uh, head coach Frank Solich, 38 and two when leading at the break. Let's we'll send it back to you upstairs. Thanks, Zach. Shame these coaches don't become a little bit more intense, huh, Gary? Well, that coach is ready to go. He's ready to play. He's <laughs> happy about how his Cowboys have played in the first half. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Nebraska, they knew coming in, they got to run the football. They've had some success. Well, they didn't. They didn't. Uh, Disappoint anybody to run the football in the first half. You see for more on the reverse. And obviously David Horn, the freshman tailback, doing a good job. 60 yards in the first half alone for that young man. Jamal Lord showing, hey, I can play action pass and also get out of some trouble. Showing that he's able to make plays with his feet, Bill. He's an excellent quarterback and running that option attack for him today, Bill. Yeah, don't play a little hopscotch. He's got to. Diedrich got the only touchdown of the day. A nice run inside the five-yard line. We'll take a look at some stats in a moment. I think the thing that surprised me is Oklahoma State's been able to throw it with this win today. Well, they've been able to throw the ball effectively to Rashawn Woods. There's no doubt about that. He's been able to make the move, move down the field. You see the total yard is passing for Oklahoma State. Pretty good there, 88 yards. Not a big difference here in the football game overall, total yardage-wise. And most key thing, time of possession. I think both teams have had the ball, and Oklahoma State has done a good job of moving the ball when they had to, and especially late in the second quarter, giving them a chance here to get come out in the third, in the third quarter. Kickoff is down in the end zone for the touchback, and Oklahoma State will bring its defensive bunch on to face this Nebraska offense here to start the second half. Some stats in a moment. I think the thing that surprised me is Oklahoma State's been able to throw it with this win today. Well, they've been able to throw the ball effectively to Rashawn Woods. There's no doubt about that. He's been able to make the move, move down the field. You see the total yard is passing for Oklahoma State. Pretty good there, 88 yards. Not a big difference here in the football game overall, total yardage-wise. And most key thing, time of possession. I think both teams have had the ball, and Oklahoma State has done a good job of moving the ball when they had to, and especially late in the second quarter, giving them a chance here to get come out in the third, in the third quarter. Kickoff is down in the end zone for the touchback, and Oklahoma State will bring its defensive bunch on to face this Nebraska offense here to start the second half. Let's see what adjustments are made, if any, here as far as things going in the start of the second half. Lowered the quarterback out of the eye position here, and the handoff goes to Horn. Horn at the 25 where things broke down and Elbert Craig makes the tackle. You see David Horn and his feet, good job moving to the outside. As he tried to cut back inside, just remember, a lot of rain here today, a lot of mist. Actually picked up late in the second quarter. More heavy rain out there, and I think there's some moisture on that turf out there, Bill. Yeah, you see a little slipping and sliding here in the second half. We'll see. Whistles and flags before that play develops on a second down and five of the 25 yard line. Before the snap, snap, all start on the offense. Five yards, remain second down. They're trying to go with kind of a hurry up offense. Get up to the line of scrimmage, snap the ball, get some momentum going here offensively for the Huskers. I like that idea, a little change of pace uh, for Nebraska. Not a bad deal, go with that. Come out there, move the ball down the field. You probably win some matchup situations if uh, 
Oklahoma State's trying to change personnel on the field. Yeah, maybe limit the substitution a little bit there. Lord still with the football. 30, 40, and out of bounds, just shy of the 50-yard line. Forced out by Elbert Craig. Bill, this is the triple option at his best. He puts it into the fullback, and he actually pulls it back. He's reading that through all the way. Then he takes it around the corner, and he can pitch if he wants to, but he likes to keep on this play. It's a smart play by the quarterback, reading it all the way down the line, all the way down the line of scrimmage, making a big play for, for his offense. Lord in the first half, nine carries for 34 yards, his longest a 16-yarder. 26 yards on that pickup, and then... The first down call, not much happening there as Williams stuffs the play. Let's take a look here at this option play again here. Watch Lord. He reads it. See the fullback? He looks in there, gives him. He could have taken that ball. The fullback could have. And then he reads around the corner and says, hey, I've got this inside. He contained inside well and makes a big play on the corner. Leading rusher in the game, Tatum Bell with his 13 carries for 75 yards. As you look at the junior from Bayonne, Nebraska, Lord. New Jersey, I should say, second and 10. And the run by Horn across the 50 to the 48-yard line, and Vernon Grant makes the tackle. Well, this Nebraska offense is doing what they like to do, and that play, play physical football. They're bringing it at the Cowboys right now. Frank Soldier said, hey, we need to be a little more physical up front, just run our plays, be aggressive up front. They come out here in the third quarter doing just that, Bill. Third and four at the 48-yard line. Crowd gets going. Horn, and it looked like Lord never sold that or not. It's like he's going to take it and give it, or give it and take it back. That's actually that shotgun option play to the quarterback. The quarterback actually reads that. If the defensive end comes up the field, then he hands off. If the defense doesn't come up the field, he takes it around. He's actually reading this player right here as he comes up the field. It's a read. You see the offensive line doing a good job of getting hat on hat and moving players. And hey, That young man's playing well in there. That's a Kevin Williams, number 58, making the play there. And Waylon Brown. Williams in on a lot of tackles. Got a sack earlier today as well. So on fourth and two, Larson for the punt gets it off. High kick. Chance to be downed inside the 10. It bounces at the five. And Nebraska there and could not get a grip. And it will come out to the 20 yard line. That's strange. And in the college rule, actually, this should be down at the one yard line, regardless of what the officials are telling you. As soon as the ball is touched in the field of play, that's called illegal touching in college. You see the defender in the field. As soon as he touches that ball, no matter if it goes in the end zone, it should be right there at the one yard line. That's the difference in the high school, in the college rule versus the NFL rule. He does not have to have possession of it. It's called illegal touching. Oh, First and 10, ball on the 20 for Oklahoma State. Denard, the man in motion. Fields. Dumps it off to Denard. First down, Oklahoma State. Williams makes the tackle. Well, the first play in the first half, offensively for Oklahoma State. Throw to your fullback, Denard. Now he shows up again here, first play again. You have your receivers outside. You say, hey, we got to take care of Woods down the field and Lewis inside. Nothing there. Now you're going to have your safety come back and make a play on Denard on the short pass. So Denard picks up 14 and makes it a first and 10 at the 34-yard line for OSU. Down 7-3. First possession for the Cowboys in the second half. And the handoff at Bell. Stops at the 40 as Williams makes the tackle. Not easy going against this Nebraska black shirt defense. The black shirts have awarded to these starters in practice, and the tradition of the black shirt defense has taken a bit of a dent earlier this year. Well, they've been up and down. What they want to do is they want to be able to be in this area right here, around 300, 325 yards a game. A couple of hiccups here. See that Penn State, Iowa State, big yardage, over 400 yards a game in those two contests. This defense. Good early in the season, had a, had a hiccup there early, uh, midway, now looks like they're back on track. Nebraska, sixth in the league in total defense, allowing 341 yards. Bell bringing them with him to the almost 50-yard line, and they're moving on that black shirt defense right now. What about Gross, one of the leaders? Did he take it personal when his team was struggling on the defensive side? Yeah, I took it personally because I've been here for a long time, and. 
Um, I seen, I mean, I had got my black shirt, the, my red shirt freshman year, so I know what it takes to um, go out there and play black shirt football. And I think we took a lot of criticism because um, we wouldn't, we didn't play together like we should have been playing together. I mean, we, we didn't go out there and play with the best of our ability. And he comes up big there on that play. Rashawn Woods coming across with the reception. And Gross showing he's got the speed and tackling ability to take that big receiver down. And Woods brought down around the 47-yard line. And we talk about Juwan Gross returning punch. You see him here manned up on Rashawn Woods, taking him all the way across the field. So it's called a smash route. He's back behind the linebackers and coming up on making a nice tackle. His counterpart over the left side cornerback, uh, Fabian Washington, the first freshman to get a black shirt since Keo Craver for Nebraska is a starting defender. Tatum Bell burst to the 35-yard line. Philip Bland makes the tackle, and Bell having some afternoon. Well, his offensive line is doing a good job here. The center, Ben Bowie, does a nice job, and Sam Mays on the right side. Watch everybody get hat on hat. Everyone is blocked right there, and you see the lane here that Bell has to run through. Good job up front by the Oklahoma State Cowboy offense. Tatum Bell shows he's got speed to break through there. Bell with over 100 yards already, and Denard just off his fingertips or out of his reach near the Nebraska sideline on the first down pass attempt. With the play action, trying to get your fullback out in the pass. Demorio Williams doing a good job in coverage. Oklahoma State getting just enough in the running game on particular plays. At the half, the Cowboys only had 81 yards rushing. Bell was 75 of those, but they've been enough to keep Nebraska honest defensively to open up the throwing game. Second and 10 at the 35. And again, they forge it ahead down near the 31-yard line where Cabongo makes the tackle. Patrick out of Montreal, Quebec. I like that play call, Bill. Just go ahead and run it in there. Get out of a third and long situation. Now you're in a third and medium. Don't try to make the play all the time. Backed up second and long, third and long. 9.34 to go, third quarter. Nebraska trailed 3-0, got the touchdown to take a 7-3 lead into the locker room at the half. Now the Cowboys on the march here in the third quarter. Third and five from the 36. Play action and complete. First down, Oklahoma State. Rashawn Woods and Gary Les Miles let it be known at halftime. They're going to continue to go to Woods. Well, they're going to try to defend Woods a lot of different ways. This time they've got coverage over the top and they want to get somebody underneath to get coverage there. He's going to try to fly out underneath the route here. He's just not fast enough to get there. You see Rashawn Woods shuts it down. They had deep and short coverage. You see up over the top here and then one defender underneath. Trying to double up on Rashawn Woods and still not get it done. Woods, seven receptions, 93 yards as flags litter the field before this first down call. Dead ball, ball, ball start on the offense. Five yards, remains first down. Boy, every penalty seems critical in this game with field position being so important. And Oklahoma State, that was something they didn't have in the first half was good field position. Well, field position is key here in this football game and where these teams start and where they end up. And whenever you have penalties on a first and down, first down situation, that makes it tough. But it's still a good field situation here. You take a look at the average drive start for each team today. Real tough for Oklahoma State on their own 16. Woods on the near side here. Bell on the handoff, runs into a wall, gets a couple back. It'll still be second and long with a tackle made by Justin Smith, the senior from Sherman, Texas. I think Josh Fields has played a lot better today, Bill. We saw him a couple weeks ago against the Longhorns and didn't really look polished in that game throwing the football. He's done a good job throwing the ball outside today to Rashawn Woods, and I think he's doing an effective job in this offense today. The play action, going to the fullback out in the flat and making smart throws. And credit a banged-up offensive line that has protected him well and opened up enough holes for the running game. They are bruised and battered and looking forward to a week off next week. Fields to throw it here. Woods comes back to make the grab and then turns inside the 15. It is going to be a third and short as Gross made the tackle. 
What a reception by Woods, though. A couple of good players outside. Dewan Gross, number five, and 82. Rashawn Woods for the Cowboys. They're man on man outside here. And look at Gross just trying to cover him. Rashawn Woods, hey, quit inside move and just actually turned Gross around. And the Cowboys with a third and two at the 14 yard line. Denard in motion, the fullback. Fields rolls out. Got a man wide open, complete inside the five. First down, Cowboys. Benjamin with the reception. It'll be first and goal, Oklahoma State. Nice play call by Mike Gundy. Go with the play action, boot pass. Bring it around the court here. You got three receivers, one of the fullback, one of the tight end, Bajima, who he throws to, and Rashawn Woods was in the end zone. Well covered by Gross that time. Nice throw by Fields, reading the open receiver. It was Demario Williams who came to jump up and try to bat that ball down, and Fields, nice job to complete it. Fields today over 135 yards, now 12 of 20. It's first and goal for the Cowboys at the three. Fields rolls out to the other side. Gonna keep the football, Josh Fields scores, touchdown Cowboys. Josh Fields on the ground, gets the TD. Well, there's a saying, Bill, be needy, not greedy, and that's what Josh Fields did that time. He said, hey, why throw the ball when you can run it? Good job of reading what's downfield in front of him. He could have thrown the ball to a receiver in the end zone. There were a couple open, but it's a lot easier to run it in. So Fields gets his second touchdown on the ground this year, and for the point after, it's Luke Phillips, and his kick is good, and Oklahoma State takes the lead again as Phillips hits the PAT after Fields' touchdown. Stay with us. Welcome back. Sophomore quarterback Josh Fields gets the TD to put the Cowboys back on top, 10-7. Third quarter action in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Bill Land, Gary Reason, Zach Klein with you on Fox Sportsnet and Big 12 football coverage. Kickoff as they bring it out of the end zone, taking it two yards deep. And then the hit at the 20-yard line as the ball carrier, Marcus Simmons, was leveled by Lawrence Pinson. Josh Fields go on that last drive. An excellent job for the Cowboys with his arm. Five of six completions. But probably his best play here was actually running it in. You're going to see the back of the end zone. He's got receivers out there he can throw to, but there's a lot of green grass in front of him and a nice looking orange end zone. And Fields, five of six on that drive throwing game and gets the three yard run, a 12 play, 80 yard drive. And again, Gary, keeping the football for five and a half minutes, giving this defense a chance to gear up. Now Nebraska, first and 10 from its own 20-yard line. They answered in the first half. They faked the reverse, and Diedrich brought down at the 27-yard line. For a Dr. Pepper game break, let's go to our Fox Sportsnet studio with Bill Jones. Bill Conference USA action, Louisville, Kentucky. TCU's Horn Frogs jump out to the early lead. Ty Gunn to LaTerrence Dunbar, 18 yards. Horn Frogs look for their sixth straight win, lead it 10-0. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Bill. There's a team that is racking up win after win, not getting much notice. TCU and Coach Patterson doing a fine job. Nebraska here, second and four from the 26-yard line. And out to the 35-yard line on the ground as Albert Craig makes the tackle this time on Diedrich. So Darren Diedrich did not get a lot of calls in the first half, just four carries for 10 yards, Gary. And you come back to your veteran maybe when you're down a little bit. Come back pounding here, the first two carries in this drive, 15, 16 yards over two plays. And that's good production. And more importantly, the Huskers are on the move. He has their only touchdown, the Big 12 rushing champ of a year ago when he ran for 1,299 yards. Lord changing the play. Crowd tunes it up. On a first to ten, Lord keeping the football, and a flag is thrown as he is brought down at the 37-yard line. And Terrence Robinson, middle linebacker, making the play. You're going to have a holding call here against the Huskers. Good job of stringing it out by the defense, going down the line of scrimmage. You got the down the line option. Hey, just play it out, make it go to the sideline, and that's what the Cowboys do. 
Well, Oklahoma State, two weeks ago, goes into Austin, Texas, ranked number two at the time, and almost pulls off the 17-15. They could beat 17-15, had an opportunity to win that football game. They felt good about themselves. They go to K-State. Everything fell apart. They had some injuries early. Holy Team just didn't off, finish on certain plays. The spot. And they got humbled. And this week in practice, Les Miles, let it be known that, hey, guys, if you don't hit Nebraska in the face, they will hit you. <laughs> you better react or they'll pound you. It's a physical type team, and they've reacted well after a good week of workouts. There's no doubt about it. They come out inspired football today. I think they've done a pretty good job against a pretty resilient offensive line here for Nebraska. The pitch, he picks it back up, but wait a minute. That should be an incomplete pass, or is that a legal forward pass? No, that's an incomplete pass. Okay. Well, he pitches it forward. If it ever goes forward and hits the ground, it is an incomplete pass. You're going to see Lord just going to do the option here and pitch it forward, and that is the shovel pass, and David Horn doesn't grab it. Take another angle out of here and pitches it forward, and the ball's up there just in the shoulder pad area of Horn. He doesn't bring it in. And to bring up a second and long situation. Yeah, now second and 20, the ball at the 26-yard line of the Huskers. They trail 10 to 7 in the football game. Lord, good protection. Now breaks down, he keeps. 30-yard line. Brought down by Greg Richmond. Well, that's the value of having pretty good feet. Quarterback, quarterback. quarterback being able to get out of trouble. Jamal Lord. Almost escapability there. Pretty, pretty impressive. Let's go down to Zach Klein as we see the showers continue. All right, Bill, thank you very much. The showers are picking up, but again, the guys say it's really not causing that much problem on their cleats. The guys are patting each other on the back in terms of the sideline in Oklahoma State. They're telling one another, you got to believe, you got to believe. They feel they can knock off Nebraska. One injury update to uh, pass along. Garrett Williams, the defensive back, they're working on his left wrist. So bring you more when we have further information. Bill? Thank you. Third and 14, Lord keeps it. Got the first down and more. Across midfield into Cowboy territory. Tackled at the 46 by Kirk Milligan. So the Huskers answer. And that is the second time today Lord has had the big play on a third and long. Well, good coverage downfield by the Cowboys in their secondary. And Lord here just smartly, hey, go up in the middle of the field. Nobody's there. The, no one in the middle of the field. The linebackers are out of there. And makes a big play. And at the end of the play, we have a penalty. I don't know if it's going to be against Oklahoma State. Let's see how they sort it out here. The flag thrown around the 45. I thought it was a personal foul on Nebraska. Let's see where they assess it following the play. And I saw the flag come in right at the end of the play around midfield. So that'll move it back into Nebraska territory. But after the play, and it gives them a first down. So. Nebraska will have it at the 39-yard line, its own 39-yard line, but first and 10. So not as good as what Frank Solis thought he was going to have, but just the same, he did get the first down out of it. That's the important thing for the Huskers with this OSU crowd going crazy after the Cowboys had scored. Nebraska now their sixth penalty of the day. First and 10, here's Lord. Got time here. And incomplete. Massey may have got a hand on that one. Intended for Thomas, I believe. This fall, get your NFL fix a day earlier with the most outrageous, unpredictable NFL pregame show you've ever seen. Introducing the NFL show on Fox Sports Net with Michael Irvin, Tony Saragusa, and comedian Tommy Davidson. Pre-game shows may never be the same. Start your NFL weekend the night before kickoff with NFL show presented by U.S. Postal Service tonight after college football on Fox Sports Net. Loose football, Cowboys have it. Recovering OSU. Richmond. Well, bad exchange that time by Jamal Lord. Puts it into his fullback's belly and pulls it out. Costly turnover here at midfield. Good job that time by the Cowboys. Take a look at the turnovers here. Nebraska minus seven in the last four games. Not good there. Richmond forced a fumble in the Kansas State game last week. Comes up with the recovery here. And now the Cowboys with a three-point lead. Remember we talked about that field position. We showed you that graphic earlier. Now they get it on the Nebraska 40 for first and 10. And Tatum Bell spurts to the right. 30. Bell at the 25. And Scott Shanley makes the tackle at the 20. 
of scrimmage trying to make a play. They've got man coverage on the outside. Tatum Bell only has to break one tackle at the line of scrimmage. He gets into the secondary. You see Rude there stepping up from his middle linebacker spot, and you see the missed tackle up front by Cabongo, and secondary has to come over and make the play. Good job that time by Tatum Bell, breaking a tackle at the line of scrimmage and making a big play for the Cowboys offense. 334 and counting third quarter at Lewis Field. Oklahoma State. First and 10 at the 21 of the Huskers. And already in the man in motion. They fake to Bell. Play action. Going for six. Woods covered by Fabian Washington. He had to juggle it, Bill. He should have grabbed it on the first time. He would have pulled it down, but Fabian Washington able to recover. Well, he juggles that ball on that one. The one time it hits his hands, you're going to see it pop out. We'll take another look at it here. Josh Fields delivers a strike inside right at the hash mark. You see Rashawn Woods go up. Watch him bounce the ball one time and bring it down. That allows Washington a chance to come back and make a play. Woods already with 104 yards receiving. And that's his fourth 100-yard receiving game of the season, ninth of his career. Wants that one back. Second and 10 for the 21. Bell. And to the sideline, forced out at the 17. And Gross, nice job of shutting that one down. Looked like Bell was going to get big yardage. Well, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of room there to run here. Tatum Bell's coming out of the ball game. Getting a little breather. Career high for him. 20 carries, 132 yards. Well, Mike Gundy told us, that, hey, our backs are not the 30, 35 times a game backs. We have to use two or three backs in there to get that accomplished. We didn't think that any of his backs were going to be able to go you know, that long today. We saw, obviously, we know that one of their backs is out. Seymour Shaw with an injury. And Marinci hasn't been in the game again since early in the second quarter. Fields rolls out and completes it to Woods. Very close to the first down at the 10-yard line. It would appear he's got it. Well, when you've got your number one receiver outside, and you're going to read what he does. The quarterback here, take a look. He's got it. We're going to read Rashawn Woods. It's a read-out pattern. Good job that time. Getting it out to him. Getting the first down here. You're knocking on the door. Just inside the 11-yard line for a first and 10. Sean Woods, another great day. First down. And Jones, Greg Jones getting his first carry of the day as Philip Bland makes the tackle. Well, Tatum Bell needs a blow, and you get Greg Jones in there at the tailback spot. Barrett Rude down on the field, the middle linebacker for the Huskers. Jones is a sophomore out of Carrollton, Texas, the Dallas suburb Newman Smith High School. Goes 5'9", 200 pounds. An injury timeout here. There's a, a score at Rude to the sideline. Key player there is Barrett Rude. He walks out, leading tackler coming into today's game. He made a pretty good hit in the backfield. And Pretty good contact. It's a Nebraska family. His dad, a couple of uncles, great grandfather, all played football at the University of Nebraska. There wasn't any doubt where Barrett was going, being raised in Lincoln. Cowboys second down and seven for the first down. They need to get inside the one to do that. Tatum Bell. Slices to the five-yard line. So he picks up three and McKeven Smith making the tackle for the Huskers. Just pounding the football, the Cowboys are. Pitch it back to your tailback, get a lot of blockers up front. You're gonna bring it right at them. Third down and five. Third and four, actually, from the five. Bell the lone back. Lewis goes to the top, Woods to the bottom, fields the throw. Woods, touchdown, Oklahoma State. Well, this is a clinic being put on here by Rashawn Woods of how to work away from defenders. Josh Fields throwing the ball exceptionally well today, and he's matching up with Rashawn Woods. 
Puts another score on the, on the board for the Cowboys. And Luke Phillips for the point after. Good snap, hold is good. And Phillips gets the PAT. And Oklahoma State tacks on seven more. 17-7, folks. Sean Woods there on the left with Lewis as discussing the TD. Rashawn getting the touchdown reception and Oklahoma State pumps it up to a 10 point lead. Seventh TD reception of the year for Woods. And now the Cowboys kick it off. Wind a little factor here though with the T. Farden to kick it off for Oklahoma State. Simmons is the deep man for Nebraska. Goes again. Wind pushed it off the ball, off the tee again. There's the drive, 40 yards, seven plays. The big fumble recovery there by Richmond set it up, and then Woods capped it off. Cowboys, after trailing at the half, now a 10 point lead. Simmons watches it sail out of the end zone. They are jacked up here at Lewis Field. Fields to Woods and the touchdown, and the Cowboys lead it 17-7. Oklahoma State 17, Nebraska 7, and here's how it happened. Josh Fields, good job delivery. Watch Rashawn Woods push up and work away from Gross. Give him some space. He's doing an excellent job of getting space for him to catch passes today, and Fields is delivering. Lord hands off to Horn. Horn trying to turn the corner. Cowboys Massey comes up to force him back in. Picks up a couple. That got to the 25-yard line, so it'll be second and five. Well, how's it gone by the half? You see Nebraska, 189-85, and then Oklahoma State with 125 already as the third quarter winds down. They've picked it up, and so is their defense here coming out in this third quarter, Bill. Oklahoma State coming in. We mentioned last week over 184 yards total offense in the game against K-State. They averaged 356. That's 11th in the league. Defense answers here on a second and five call as the rain continues to come and Milligan making the tackle. Well, that's defensive tackle play there. You've got Kevin Williams and Llewellyn Brown doing a good job up front for the Cowboys right now. When they try that dive back inside to the fullback, those two have to take that play away, and then everyone else has to take care of the quarterback and the pitch man. This option attack here by Jamal Lord, the Huskers. Need the fierce defense right now. These Cowboy defenses come to play in the second half. Third and five. Lord to throw and does and completes it right at the first down marker. Nicely done that time by John Bowling, the tight end, the senior from Lincoln, knew where he had to get to. And the completion will move the chains as eight seconds to go here in the third quarter. And they set, and then the clock starts, and that will end the third quarter. Oklahoma State with the lead. That's the end of the third quarter. The score, the Cowboys with a 17-7 lead over Nebraska. You're watching the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Game of the Week on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Loud Stillwater, Oklahoma, where the Cowboys lead 17-7 over Nebraska. Bill Land and Gary Reasons with you. And Gary, they had a close call in Austin two weeks ago. Can they pull it off today? Cowboy fans are really excited here. Their team is playing well. Obviously, quarterback Josh Fields throwing over Sean Woods. Nebraska has to answer here, Bill. I think they really have to come out and play inspired football. Jamal Lord has to find an answer to this defense right now for the Cowboys, which is playing real well. Up front, that defensive front is taking over this football game here for the Cowboys on defense and giving Nebraska fits. Pickup of one. It'll be second and nine at the 32-yard line. Greg Richmond in on the tackle for Oklahoma State. Nebraska down 10. Lord in trouble, and he is brought down inside the 20. Greg Richmond once again. Well, there's an old saying, Bill, when it rains, it pours.
scores, and it's raining here in Stillwater, but I tell you, this defense, it's pouring it on. Good job here rushing from the outside. Greg Richmond, number 45. He had the big fumble recovery early in the last drive, and now the sack of Jamal Lord. It's an excellent play for his defensive end spot and a big play for the Cowboys. Well, this is a defense that caught some grief from the locals when they gave up 39 and lost to Louisiana Tech to start the season. Oh, how they've come a long way. Third and 23, the ball on the 18-yard line. Well, this is what you want to do in Nebraska. Force him into a passing situation. Make Jamal Lord beat you with his arm. Out of the shotgun, in trouble, trying to corral him, and they do! At the 10-yard line, Kareem Smith with a sack. I tell you, the happiest man in the stadium is Bill Clay, the defense quarter for the Cowboys. Good game plan. Hey, he tried to get his guys fired up all week. Didn't have a problem with that. They played well. At halftime, they re-evaluated what they had to do to stop this quarterback. And, hey, they're just making plays, Bill. Smith, a junior from Miami, Florida with the sack. And now Larson from his own end zone. Here's the punt for Larson. Chance for a return at the 50 and into the 48-yard line. But again, Oklahoma State will get excellent field position. We'll take a brief timeout on Fox Sports Net. 17-7 in the fourth. Cowboys. Going when Oklahoma State got a field goal to make it 3-0. And then the Cowboys in the second half, two touchdowns. Bell, a career day on the ground in fields is red hot. There's no doubt about it. The quarterback is doing his job. The running game is working for Oklahoma State. And Rashawn Woods certainly has not disappointed any fans here today. Second and 10 from the 47-yard line of Nebraska. Bell. Well, Gary Smith makes the tackle there. Everybody in the stadium, I think, senses it. You said it when we were during the break. If Oklahoma State scores here, Nebraska is in deep, deep trouble. It seems like that defense of Nebraska all of a sudden senses the same thing. Well, they do. They, they realize that, hey, they have to stop the Cowboys here because if they allow a score, you've got to get your offense out there. They're not a come-from-behind type of an offense. This is a team that's used to playing out in front. That's one thing when you're – it's a two-score game right now for Nebraska. But one more here. And the Cowboys, they're not going to start an early celebration, though. It has been since 61, since OSU has beaten Nebraska. Long, long way to go. Third down and 10. Fumble, loose football, picked up. No, still loose. Nebraska recovers at the 49 of Oklahoma State. Fabian Washington fell on the loose football. We talked earlier, turnovers set up the OSU momentum. It could go the other way for the Huskers. Well, this is a stone of a hit right there in the, in the backfield. The defense for the black shirts, they do a good job coming in there. Watch the hit hit here on, on Tatum Bell. Just going to hit helmet to helmet. The ball pops out. Excellent job there on the defensive side. And the ball is on the ground. Surprisingly, it wasn't jumped on earlier, but... Now it's a big turnover and possibly a momentum swing here for Nebraska. I think Daniel Bullocks is the one that made that hit. First and 10 at the 49. Lord to Horn. Going nowhere as Horn racked up by Antonio Smith. Now Horn's a tailback, and he likes to cut back, and that was one of those plays where he should have stayed in the hole. David Horn trying to read back to the backside of the Cowboy defense, but Smith and company stayed at home, made a nice play. Well, the wind has calmed a little bit. It was such a big factor earlier, but by the time I say that, the flags start flying again. But it is at the back of Jamal Lord with a second and 11 from midfield. Options to Horn. Horn. Good power to go along with that speed. Williams makes the tackle near the first down territory. Let's go down to Zach Klein. All right, Bill, thank you very much. You mentioned the wind dying down. Yes, it is, but on the flip side of that, the rain is picking up. Coming to st uh, starting to come down much, much harder than it was earlier in the game. And earlier, you mentioned the tough losses. They're up 18 with 16 minutes to play against a lot tech and lost by three. Plenty of time left in this game, guys, but they've lost some heartbreakers. Yeah, this is a team that saying they believe in themselves, they have to go out and execute it to get that big W. Maybe a big stop there on third and short, Bill. Carrying the football was Davies, the fullback. I don't think he got it. Let's see where they place the ball. Yeah, they, they definitely stopped him short. Good surge there by the Cowboys' defensive line. 
Going to bring up a fourth and short. Frank Solich is going to have to make a decision here. He's leaving his offense on the field. And the other thing with Oklahoma State, when they beat Oklahoma last year, nobody expected it. No one thought they would. This year, people are expecting victories from this team in situations like this. Fourth down and one. Horn easily to the 35-yard line, and Nebraska will keep possession. Massey making the tackle. Well, you try to pound it in there. Nebraska likes to do that. Fourth and one. Get it to your deep tailback. Let him read. Watch the hole that's open up here by the offensive line. Erickson does a good job when the fullback kicks out. And that's what you see Horn run through. Excellent job of execution on the fourth and short situation. First and ten at the 35. Lord sets up to throw up the play action. Got a man inside the 30 at the 28 and a half yard line. Hasselbrook, Troy Hasselbrook with the tackle or the reception. It's a senior from Lincoln. And the play action pass here. Lord almost stumbles and falls. Well, he's got pretty good arm strength here. Zipping the ball outside to Hasselbrook. And Chris Massey comes over and gives him a pretty good pop. Second down and three. Horn keeps it. 25. Horn knocked out of bounds. And there's going to be a late hit thrown, a flag thrown. And it's going to be first and goal, I got a feeling, for Nebraska here. Pinson is the one that I think has got whistled for the penalty. Well, they, they ran that reverse. Personal foul on the defense for a late hit out of bounds. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Bill, they ran that reverse in the first quarter, and now they faked it a couple of times, and it's worked well for the Nebraska offense. Good job that time by Horn, faking the reverse and coming around to the outside. Watch if he steps out of bounds early here. I thought he may have stepped out. Right there he does and goes back inside, and they spot the ball down there. They're also going to tack on the penalty because of the late hit out of bounds. Yeah, that was over Crick, so I beg your pardon on that correction, mate. Horn, a career high, 109 yards rushing. Dances his way inside the five on a first and goal situation. As Horn's brought down by Paul Duren, redshirt freshman from Dale City, Oklahoma. Horn had 88 yards against Missouri, 81 the week before against McNeese State, and now today goes over the century mark. Well, the turnover here set this, set this drive up. Go for it on fourth and one. Frank Solich decides to go for it. And his Huskers have responded. They're down here knocking on the door. Second and goal from the two, and Horn. Rolls into the end zone, and Nebraska answers. The Huskers, following that turnover that Gary mentioned, go right to the end zone. 17-13 now with 8.56 to go. Boy, these point afters should never be taken lightly either. No doubt about that. We saw Oklahoma State in Austin missed it, had one blocked on a PAT that changed the whole complexion of that game that they eventually lost 17-15. This one by Brown is good, and it's a three-point game. 17-14 Cowboys, 8.56 to play in the football game. Tatum Bell, a career-high 129 yards. We're right now saying, get me back in there. I want to redeem myself after a fumble that set up Nebraska's drive that pulled the Huskers back within three. Welcome back to Lewis Field. Bill Land, Gary Reasons, Zach Klein with you on Fox Sports Net and Big 12 football coverage as Nebraska will kick it off to Oklahoma State at 8.56 to go. Massey in the end zone. Starting to come out. Bryant said, whoa, wait a minute. It'll be first to 10 at the 20. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 football game of the week on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler and by Corona Extra. Relax and enjoy an ice cold Corona Extra. All right, Gary, put yourself in Mike Gundy, offensive coordinator's shoes here. Pulling the reins a little bit or let it fly? Let it fly. I think you do what you've been doing. You've got good production. You play action passing game, throwing the ball to Rashawn Woods. Your running game has worked because of the passing game. Don't forget to throw the football. Don't pull the reins in here and play conservative. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Bell comes on in the backfield. Woods to the near side. Bryant, the slot back there. Fields, play action. 
completes it to Benjamin, the tight end. First down, Oklahoma State. And at this point, of course, the Cowboys want to stay in bounds at all opportunity. Every tick they can get off that clock, even though there's still 8.43 to go. Well, you're going to do a play-action pass here, bootleg. Hey, your, t your wide receiver, Rashawn Woods, clears the zone out, and Badgema comes across. Hey, I like this play to start a drive. Gets the quarterback out in space, let him see the field and throw the football. The Cowboys just continue to move the football now. Yeah. Badgema's second reception of the day for 24 yards. Field where the Woods has 10 catches for 115. First and 10 at the 33. Fields to throw it again. A wobbler, and Woods is there to grab it and then hit. It's going to be down. That return is not allowed. It's going to be a completion and a down football at the 48th of Nebraska. A couple of times they called this play today. You have a play action pass, and Rashawn Woods is isolated on the bottom of the field. There's a quick little inside move against the cornerback, Washington. I'm not sure that young man can cover him. He needs some help out there, that the defensive coverage that. Uh, Nebraska is utilizing has not been effective at all today against Rashawn Woods. But boy, you got to like Badgema first, then they come back to their money, man. And Woods, a career high 11th catch for today's game. He had 10 and 126 yards and three touchdowns in the Louisiana Tech loss. First and 10 at the 48. Here's Tatum Bell. And Bell. Good productive run to the 43-yard line where Severs makes the tackle. You see the little slim post. He comes inside here of Washington and balls down on the ground. Obviously not a fumble. The next play here, Bill, I think is important. That you, you, They ran the ball to the tailback. The play-action passing that they're doing has set up their running game. Tatum Bell does a nice job on first down, picks up five yards. Mike Gundy, I think, is calling a pretty good game here today. Second and five at the 43 for Gundy and the Cowboys as... Les Miles and his crew trying to break 40 plus years of frustration. 61, the last time the Cowboys beat Nebraska. Bell across the 40. Very close to the first down on the spot. It would appear he's got it. Philip Bland, the free safety, made the tackle. Subtle things that the Cowboys are doing offensively are giving them a chance to key in on Nebraska's defense. That time they used a shift and a motion to find out it's man coverage, and they run it right downhill off tackle. Good job of execution. Tatum Bell finding the open area and making a play for the offense, and importantly, a first down, Bill. Clock ticket, 6.52 in the fourth quarter. 17-14 Cowboys. Oklahoma State. Trailed at the half, 7-3, to three, got two touchdowns to take a 17-7 lead, and then the fumble and the retaliation by Nebraska. Here's Bell again on first down to the 35 and inside that. Remember our OSU game plan that we talked about in the early moments? Let's well, see how it's phased. they got to come out, shoot, and throw the ball down the field. That's what they've done, passing the ball, and they've got to get some turnovers. Well, the turnover turned into points for them, the one that they did have, and right them. The full eight seconds, their time of possession, Nebraska and OSU, it's pretty close. But right now, Oklahoma State has actually won the football, winning the football game in the second half, Bill. Second down and eight at the 39-yard line. Woods to the top of your screen on the left. Denard and Bell, the backs. The pitch to Tatum Bell. for Nebraska. Chris Kelsey didn't play today, didn't even suit up. Their middle linebacker, Barrett Rood, is not in the football game. He was injured earlier in the game. He came off the sideline. Nice execution. Fake it inside, pitch it back to your speedy back bell. And Gross on the hit there on the sideline. Pretty good pop. Looks like he's favoring his right arm or shoulder, Bill. Senior from Garfield Heights, Ohio, Dewan Gross, the Leading punt returner in the nation and four interceptions from his right corner spot. And that defense is getting thin, and you take a, a Rashawn Woods on the outside and Dewan Gross. He might be the only one, I think, defensively in the backfield, defensive backfield for the Huskers that might have a chance to even keep up with that young man. Tatum Bell, Gary, 27 carries, 165 yards. Mike Gundy said, we don't have a 30-carry guy. Uh, three more, and you might. 
career high for Bell. First and 10 at the 12. Jones is in now in place of Bell. Fields keeps the football, slides because he wanted to stay in play. Heads up there by Josh Fields, but looked like a broken play in the backfield. It was the quarterback turned the wrong way or the, or the backs went the wrong way. One of the two, Josh Fields says, well, there's nobody here. I better do something positive. And like you said, Bill, try to keep the clock moving. And Bell will come back in on a second and 10. Play clock at 16. Second and 10 from the 12 as we approach the five minute mark remaining in the game. Tatum Bell tripped up near the 11. And a penalty is also going to be flag is thrown here. Well, this might be a formation penalty. So the Cowboys answering after that Nebraska touchdown. It's a strong fashion, and now they've struggled a bit here with a broken play and then a penalty. So it'll be third and ten from the 12. Well, Josh Fields has to respond here. I think they're probably going to roll him out of the pocket and give him a chance to view the end zone, put Lewis and Rashawn Woods in the end zone area, try to make a, make a play. They can get a first down, Bill, at about the two-yard line. And if not, you've got your field goal option in Phillips. Fields. Throws it up. Lewis. Josh Fields with a lot of coordinators called bucket throws, throw it up to the back corner of the end zone. A lot of guys put trash cans out there just to just to mimic that throw, a place to throw the football. Excellent job of placement by Josh Fields and a nice grab by Lewis. 23-14 and for the point after. Phillips. He hits it. John Lewis gets his third touchdown reception of the year, and the Cowboys are back up by 10. Big 12 football game of the week on Fox Sports that has been brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler and by the Fritos Chili Cheese Wrap only at Sonic America's Drive-In. Welcome back to Stillwater, Oklahoma. As the Cowboys and Farden prepare to kick it off, Lewis, the big TD reception and the scripper down the middle. Taken at the nine. Simmons. Still on his feet, rolls to near the 30-yard line where Nebraska will operate. Here's another look at that TD. Well, everyone's thinking Rashawn Woods here, but Josh Fields throws the ball up to another senior receiver. Look at this catch, folks. Back of the end zone, well done. Pull it in. Everything's down. That's a nice grab that time. I'm telling you, John Lewis, the senior, I'm really pleased about his performance today and obviously a big score here in the Cowboys, Bill. 24 to 14, 10 points up in this ball game with just over four minutes to go. First time in 21 games that a team has thrown for more than one touchdown pass against Nebraska. Lord now going to have to start throwing the football. Pressure collapses on him. He keeps hit hard. Did not get out of bounds. Vernon Grant makes the tackle. He picks up five. It'll be second and five at the 35-yard line. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. Now Nebraska's got to go into a pass mode. They can't run the ball down the field like they normally would like to do. This is all going to rest on the shoulders of Jamal Lord, the receiving court. Twenty-four, fourteen. Out of the shotgun, Lord from the football. Slow reacting to pick it up as well, and then is stopped 
at the 33-yard line. It'll go as a quarterback sack, and Antonio Smith will get credit for that one. Well, the deepest in the backfield early was Kevin Williams, number 58. He's the one that actually made Jamal Lohr turn up inside. Timeout, Nebraska. Huskers now have two remaining. They were a little slow in reacting to get to the line, Gary. They need two scores. Well, four years ago in Arrowhead Stadium, it was a game to remember. Midway through the fourth, score tied at 17. Nebraska's Joe Walker raced 73 yards to put the Huskers ahead by a touchdown. But the Cowboys charge back, setting up a chance to force at least overtime. They only have three seconds to snap the ball. For the win. Huskers held on for that 24-17 victory. That was the last OSU home game, if you will, in the series, where they moved to Arrowhead Stadium, a predominant Nebraska crowd. Nebraska thumped them big in Lincoln in 99, and this was the first time they've played since then. You saw the last time that they've won, 1961. Eight coaches have come and gone through Stillwater since that point, and Les Miles saying, oh, let me be the one to be running the show when the streak is finally broken. A lot of things written in the papers all week, Bill. The last time, the last time, what happened is since then, none of that matters. A lot of these players on this Oklahoma State football team said, no, I'm not worried about all those records and, you know, Nebraska this, Nebraska that. They said, hey, we're going to play a football game out there on Saturday, and they certainly have today. Yeah, they don't care about the history, but they'll get a quick lesson afterwards, and they'll all know the story <laughs> if Oklahoma State is able to contain Nebraska here. I mean, that was the pre Bob Devaney days, folks, for Nebraska. They've won 24 straight. The only blemish was a tie in 73. Third and seven at the 33. Horn, who's had a career day, gets the first down, and Nebraska will keep possession here as Robinson makes the tackle. Well, we talk a lot about the Heisman, the Suzuki Heisman watch. The check mark is by the guy that if it ended today, in my opinion, should get it. Well, Seneca Wallace has played exceptional this year, leading that Iowa State team. He'll go at it today against a good defense in Oklahoma. See how well he responds. A couple of others on the board, though. If Seneca Wallace could probably separate himself with a good performance today. Lord, to throw it. Incomplete. And it'll be second and ten as Massey, the strong safety. Boy, if you look at today's game, Oklahoma State with Tatum Bell and a career day rushing 165 yards. Rashawn Woods, 11 receptions, 134 yards in a TD. Lewis, a sensational grab to give him the 10-point lead again. And Fields play. Here is Lord. Heavy pressure. Drop the football. Incomplete. And it'll be a third down coming up with three minutes to go. Williams, the pressure on the quarterback. Well, they want to set up a screen play there, and that's probably a pretty good play in this situation. You got your defense with their ears pinned back. They're going to rush the quarterback, and Weather Brown coming through there on the left side almost makes a play here on the quarterback. You see the ball dropped by Horn right in his midst, but he has a couple blockers in front. Could have been a nice play for the Huskers. Third and 10 at the 42. Lord, complete across the middle. That will move the chain. So Nebraska answers again at the 47-yard line. And stop the clock, too, when they move the chains. Jamal Lord, smart. He knows, he knows that he can throw in the middle of the field. It's not a problem. The clock will stop on the first down. Gets back up here and calls a play at the line of scrimmage. As soon as they reset the chains, then they start the clock again. And out of the shotgun is Lord. Nicely done, complete to Cornelson. Ben is a senior from Shawnee, Kansas, and Milligan covering on the play. Yeah, just avoid the zone defense, get in behind the cornerback. Jamal Lord looks down the middle of the field and reads to the outside and hits Cornelson going to the sideline. Good grab and stops the clock and gets a first down as well. Ten-point Cowboy lead, Huskers 240 and two timeouts to go. Lord, good protection, finds a man, complete inside the 12, and out of bounds to stop the clock. And once again, the passing game now for Nebraska. It's Cornelson again on the receiving end. He had four catches on the year coming in. He gets back-to-back -back grabs here. Exact same play, just a shorter version. Didn't go as deep that time because the secondary is tightening up as they get into the red zone. First and 10 from 
the 11-yard line, and Lord tosses it in the end zone. Nearly complete, but a flag is thrown. Vernon Grant covering. Well, from this vantage point, it looks like a good play. I didn't see any contact, but obviously the officials there. End zone. Ball will be spotted at the two-yard line. First down. You know, the pass interference in the end zone. They put the ball down. Take a look here, and we'll see at the top of the screen Vernon Grant number 20 underneath, and he makes a play on the ball. I'm, I'm really not sure where the penalty was. He's underneath, so he's... He might have been tied up with the uh, with the arms of the receiver. Nonetheless, here, I'm impressed with this Nebraska quarterback moving the ball down yeah. the field here. Really hasn't been in too many of these situations, Bill. First and goal from the two, and Horn almost, but not quite, squeezes in to the end zone. And the clock moving to 221, and the Cowboys, and I'm sure they realize this, but every down that you can force them an extra to get in, He's going to come back to help you try to kill the clock when they get the football, assuming Nebraska does score. And they do. Lord carries it in himself, and Nebraska. The umpire's down, Bill. Got hit in the end zone. And that's why things got quiet real quick here. Yeah, he took a pretty good shot as Everyone's trying to go across to make a play on the on Jamal Lord. The umpire stands real near the defense, the linebackers, and he got right in the action. I think that's Wes White, the umpire. Take a look at the umpire here, and he's just going to get hit from the backside. We're not going to see it there as Jamal Lord makes the makes the touchdown. But good news is he pops up. I've hit a few umpires in my day from that linebacker spot, and <laughs> those guys are tough guys to be in there. A little applause. One of the few times the officials will ever be appreciated by the fans, as hopefully Wes is all right. 2:06 to go, and Jamal Lord scoring his seventh touchdown of the year. Important kick. Yeah. Bring it to a three-point game. And it is good. Josh Brown, the Oklahoman, takes care of that, and a three-point game with 2:06 to go. College football Saturday presented by Kiyosara returns to Fox Sports Net tonight with a Big 12 showdown with 8th ranked Texas against 17th rated Kansas State. Can the Longhorns come back? And K-State's got it going pretty good. Coverage begins tonight at 7 Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific, right here. Passing game, I guess so. 10 plays, 70 yards, and only 224. And Lord gets the TD run to cap it off. Well, that's just pretty good execution by the sophomore quarterback, doing a good job of running the two-minute offense. He's hoping to get another opportunity to do that. This is an important kick here. Frank Solich has to decide what he's going to do, kick the ball deep, go for the onside kick. Josh Fields, his counterpart on the sideline, saying, hey, I'm going to go back out there and steady my troops. He needs to get one or two first downs to have a chance to you know, just put this game in the bag. Obviously, the Cowboys up in the game, 24-21. They've got the hands team on the field, which means the Oklahoma State return team. The guys who are used to catching footballs are all out there. Now Nebraska, with two timeouts remaining, 2.06 to go. You can see, though, setting up for the onside kick. In college football, you have to have four guys to one side of the line. And it goes out of bounds. And the flag thrown, and they will get possession of the football. Might have been two penalties. The kicking team may have been offsides, be Nebraska. And Oklahoma State letting it be known that they want the football. They're going to kick it here and get the bounce, and it bounces, it bounces right over everybody. Offside on the kicking team. There was also kickoff out of bounds by the kicking team. Both penalties will decline. Receivers take possession at the out of bounds spot. <laughs> How long did it take Les Miles to decline those, Gary? Not a split <laughs> second. <laughs> he's going, no, we don't need to do this again. Well, yeah, obviously, we saw it go out of bounds. Take a look here at the bottom of your screen and take a look here. He's the one getting across the line of scrimmage before the ball was kicked. And Pretty good 
kick by Josh Brown. He got yeah, the goes, high bounce. It goes up. You just can't make the play there right at the last, but it, it would have gone back anyway, Bill, because of the offside penalty. All right. Cowboys in a situation where they need to pick up a first down. Badgema sets up now. Yates back on the right side. Tatum Bell. You see Bell kind of tippy toeing after he got about four or five, saying protect that football is the most important thing as Cabongo makes the tackle and a timeout in Nebraska with one timeout remaining now for the Cornhuskers. And let's take a look at the Nebraska game plan as we revisit. Well, I thought Jamal had to run the ball well today. He did that. He also passed the ball, obviously. The Black Shirts defensively, a little more than they like to give up. 370 yards today. They want to be around 3, 325. Dewan Gross, he did what he needed to early in this football game is in the return, punt return game. Not everything clicking. I just credit the Cowboys, you know, tenacity here, Bill, today. Their defense came up when they needed to. And overall, their offense, Josh Fields, Rashawn Woods, they made some big plays. Defense needs one more big stop for Nebraska. Well, following today's game, many of you will catch the Big 12 postgame report. Bill Jones and Spike Dyke standing by in the Fox Sports Net studios. They'll have up-to-minute scores, highlights from around the conference and nation. Big 12 postgame report immediately following our game. Check your local listings because the Rocky Mountain and Bay Area viewers will be seeing live National Hockey League coverage between the Avalanche and the Sharks. Huskers down to one timeout. Oklahoma State holding on to a three-point lead. Executive producer of college football Saturday is Bill Borson. Coordinating producers are Roy Hamilton and Gary Garcia. Today's game produced by Bob Steinfeld and directed by Ken Miller. Senior Vice President of Field Operations is Andrea Berry. Second and six from the 49. Tatum Bell. Washington made the stop. One forty-nine to go on the clock. Will restart. Well, if you want to get some yardage, go ahead and run a play that's worked for you all day. The guard pulls around. Good job of lead blocking by your fullback and a big hole for Tatum Bell on the first down. Don't be in a hurry to snap that no. ball. Use that play clock is what Fields should be doing here with 10 on the play clock still. Long count. He's doing that as he looks at it. And gives to Bell. They actually could take a knee, Bill. They, yeah. You know, they've got one timeout. The clock, this is going to be the last timeout for Nebraska. Well, Oklahoma State, incredibly big win here. It doesn't get any easier. They do get a week off, which this team is banged up. They need. They'll play Texas A&M, then at Tech, at Kansas, before Baylor and Oklahoma to finish things up. This is a team that has a goal of going to a bowl game this year. This would be their third win of the season, first in the league. Now, on the other side for Nebraska, they do play A&M next, next week in College Station. And then it's Texas, Kansas, at Kansas State, and Colorado. And if the Huskers are going to stay in that Big 12 North picture, they're going to have to get it together in a hurry, Gary, because this will drop them to one and two in the league. Well, they're kind of behind the eight ball now. And I think there's a lot of people that will read the Nebraska team overall and say, hey, there's a chink in their armor this year. And if you come out, you can execute. The defense isn't what it used to be. They've lost Eric Crouch. They've got a new performer back there, a quarterback, who actually did a pretty decent job today, Jamal Lord was not the problem for this football team. But I think overall, offensively, Oklahoma State, they just got it going today. They made the plays when they had to, and credit the defense of uh, the Cowboys. They did a good job of stopping that offensive running machine. Well, Les the Miles, who engineered the big win over Oklahoma last year that uh, rocked this Sooner State. And uh, we asked him, well, what were you doing in 1961, the last time OSU won? And he said, I think I was playing Army, hiding underneath some leaves uh, before a college football game on a Saturday afternoon as just a youngster. And on the other sideline, Frank Solich was an All-American high school running back in Cleveland 
in 61, the last time that OSU got a win. Well, you look around at the stadium, there's no one is left. No. They're all here. They're all standing up. They all want to savor this moment because it's been a long time coming. 1961, that's, that's before I was born, Bill. Yeah, no, don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember the last time they played, and Oklahoma State came out on top. Second down and 11 at the 42. <laughs> And Fields will give it to Bell. And he is stopped to the 40-yard line, and Nebraska cannot stop the clock. But the Oklahoma State fans, what, I mean, yeah, they can do the math, but like you're saying, nobody's leaving. They know there's handoffs to be taken care of, and the celebration, it's almost, it's very quiet here it, right it is, now. It is very, very quiet. You know, they're waiting, waiting patiently. They're seeing the end come down here, though. You're just under a minute on the game clock. And yeah, now I think they're, oh, okay, if we can get another <laughs> handoff here, it'll be third and 10, and then Fields taking it to the final second on the clock, snaps the football, and then Bell dives across to the 37-yard line. How many catches has Mr. Bell, I mean, uh, runs has Bell had today, Bill? Bell, 33 carries, I believe, over 179 yards, and the Cowboys celebrate as the streak is ended. Goal post, beware. Oklahoma State, 24, Nebraska, 21. Well, a bunch of excitement here, Bill, in this football stadium, no doubt about it. The fans are on the field. Josh Fields, 192 yards, two TD passes being interviewed. How about Les Miles, the head coach? Ride em, Cowboys. Let's go down to Zach Klein. Yes, Bill, ride em, Cowboys coach. Over 40 or four decades of frustration out the window. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, kids played awfully hard. They came in there. They, they, they grinded their teeth after last week's performance. They were ready to play, and, and they got the victory they deserved. Once again, Rashawn Woods proved he's a big-time player. Uh, Rashawn Woods, the offensive line, the defense came up big. It was a uh, program win. We're thrilled. We're excited for our uh, fans, uh, the people of Oklahoma State that had to bear 41 years. Rashawn could not have gotten done without Josh Fields, a quarterback involved in all three touchdowns. Gutty performance from the youngster. Absolutely. Josh Fields is going to be a going to be a heck of a quarterback in the future. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Les Miles and the Oklahoma State Cowboys knock off Nebraska for the first time in over four decades, guys. I'll send it back to you upstairs. All right, Zach, congratulations to Coach Miles as uh, the Green Bay Packers won their first NFL title in 61, folks. That was JFK as our president. Alabama was your college football national champion that year coached by Bear Bryant. Well, let's and, talk, talk about Les Miles and what he's done with his program. Ooh. Last year, beating Oklahoma in that football game in the goalposts, they come down, and now beating Nebraska a team that will seem to be insurmountable for them over the years. And that milestone has now been broken. October 21st of 61. And as the clock was winding down, here's how the bench reacted. Les says, good win, fellas. Come on, coach. <laughs> Let him go. Interesting here, the players all went to the end zone too, Bill. Yeah. They went to the goalposts. They knew the students and the fans were going to get the goalposts down. They wanted to be a part of it. And it's a pretty interesting scene here. They've seen these goalposts being paraded around the field. They've already got them split apart, marching to the other end. Well, there's some guys riding the goalposts. You know, just doing the <laughs> cowboy thing, riding cowboy. I talked about in the game summary, they've got to ride them to the end. The full eight seconds, they're going for a ride right now. The joys of college football and Oklahoma State with 
not only a stunning, but incredibly impressive 24-21 win over Nebraska. They came, they got a lead, they came from behind, Nebraska answered, and then Oklahoma State, with that drive to go down and the TD pass to Fields, really showed something. I think Kevin Williams defensively up front set the tone early for that defense for Oklahoma State, and offensively, Tatum Bell, Josh Fields, and Rashawn Woods all came up big. Then, then perhaps one of the biggest plays of the football game, Bill, Lewis, the wide receiver, the senior, catching the touchdown at the end of the ball, uh, the, the middle of the fourth quarter was a huge play. A career day for Rashawn Woods with 11 catches, 134 yards, and he did it every way possible. Very elusive. He gets open, makes space between the defender and him. He's a great stop and start receiver because you have to respect his speed, his ability to go down the field and go up and make the catch. Into the end zone, comes back on Dewan Gross, one of the better cornerbacks in the conference. Oklahoma State with a 24-21 win. Remember, as the Cowboys get the week off to savor and enjoy this one, and better hurry if you're going to get that goal post down before we leave you. Remember to join us next Saturday, special time for 1.30 Eastern for our Dr. Pepper Big 12 football game of the week. Texas Tech travels to Colorado. Coming up tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. Number 8, Texas, and number 17, K-State in a Big 12 battle. Then it's the NFL show featuring Michael Irvin and Tony Siragusa. Big 12 postgame report is next. This is Bill Land for Gary Reasons and Zach Klein saying so long from Stillwater for the Cowboys win at 24-21.